You never knew you needed it. And it's your boy, T I M K I N Z, the number three, aka S, get you, aka Mr. Give it to me. You know, I was actually, I'll let you go here. I, I get to it later. I am the RJ. <laughs> Only known as the RJ. <laughs> and I'm Camille Poingard of the crew, the real life Tifa Lockhart, the girl next door. You know, holding it down for all the women who love sports. And it's your boy, K. Harris, the gentleman. The gentleman. The everyday gentleman. 24-7. But better known as K. Diddy. Take that, take that. Job, bro. Hmm. Man, it's wrestling today. Okay, anyway, you can go ahead and find us at www.technicalfile.com. Don't forget to put the K on that motherfucker. You're damn right. You can also find us uh, at Technical File on the Instagram and the Twitter. Mm-hmm. Why don't you go ahead and mosey on over to the other social media platform called Facebook, where you can find us technical file podcasts. Mm-hmm. Join in also with the listeners, fans, and fans and the fam on our technical file pod overtime group. Mm-hmm. But last but not least, don't forget to come on and see our beautiful faces up on YouTube. YT Technical File Podcast. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Make sure y'all come on through. Subscribe and like those videos, man. Do it. Um, but like I say every week, man, if you guys enjoy being a part of this amazing tech file fam, I'm sure that one you know. Um, your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your brother, um, your granny, granddaddy, baby mama, baby daddy, oh, well. wherever. Mm-hmm. Um, share, mm-hmm. man. Wherever you listen right all. now. Exactly. Sharing is caring, man. Um, it takes less than 30 seconds to do, and we don't grow without y'all. So let's help this fam grow. And yeah, grow. exactly, show the show. Tech Tech file challenge. Um, yeah, well, it was um, your favorite Stone Cold moment. It is 316, so you know it is Stone Cold Steve Austin Day. That's right. Um, so what? let us know your, your, your favorite um, Stone Cold moment. What? First one that comes to mind for me is the bedpan. That's still one of the funniest <laughs> yeah. sounds oh, I ever hilarious. heard. When he smacked Vince with that bedpan and that the way it goes, don't like that yeah, sound. That was hilarious. <laughs> Him and Booker T fighting in the grocery store was hilarious too. Oh, Booker <laughs> T made that like Man, Booker that T was gave hilarious. his all to sell that. <laughs> Shout out to Sam Chatter, Booker T and uh, Stone Cold moment too. Mm-hmm. Which, what, what does that mean? She got in a fight in the grocery store? Yeah, she tried to fight me. She tried to start a match in the grocery store. She ended up like Booker T. Oh, you said fight you? <laughs> oh, I thought she was out here fighting the real. Rob, I'm going to be like, I She laid out, smacked down, posed on the ground in the middle of the grocery store. <laughs> You're trying to say you to tell. Oh, I'm telling you. Right. Tell would have been in the handcuffs immediately. It was a match. She lost. All right, then. Okay, she all, right. all right. But I like right. the drink. Again, like self-incrimination on the podcast. <laughs> the, the I want to the, sell. The Tim K. I want uh, their answer to the store. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I, I do it again. I was laid out. Can I get out of this thing? I'm gonna try it like three times. Y'all just keep on going. The beer truck. The beer damn truck. I'm gonna throw some middle fingers up there like him too. <laughs> Bastards. Any of y'all got a brewski for good old Stone Cold today? Anybody drinking a brewski? What? Oh no. I should have brought <laughs> off the young, <laughs> no. the young brew. I don't I think none of us are, of are any of y'all beer drinkers? I know Eric's not. I am. I you know what? I got a root beer. I'll go ahead and throw one up. <laughs> I got a, I'll As take a kid, that like uh, yeah. they used to promote uh, brisk iced teas like heavy during wrestling. So like that was my those are my Steve Weisers. Like I used to get two, yeah. crack them open. <laughs> <laughs> you used to that's, actually do the the two at the same time. You never tried that? I would drink them at no, the same I time. Never yeah. tried. I wasn't. Oh yeah, I definitely Come on, did. Oh, you had to do it at least once. Yeah, I definitely did. At least once, you got to take a few times. Casual, I'm not trying to get you wet, like, motherfuckers. No, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. my clothes up. Like, Just no, one time. man. Come no, on, man. I see you, bro. And don't, 
If we tailgating, you gotta hit the Stone Cold one I'm time. I'm not hitting no Stone Cold uh, unless you're giving me unless you're giving me waters. <laughs> there are three things that you gotta do. Clothing be damn. One, mm. Steve Weisers. Yep. Gotta knock him back two at a time. Give no me his. Mm-hmm. Two, the Triple H water spit. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I've yeah. done that. That I've done. Three. <laughs> And I've never done this, but this is like on my bucket list. I want to do like the champagne spray, like after you win a title. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. I want to do that. Yeah. No, I've we, always thought about the mess. Somebody got to clean that bitch up. And I, I, we, I, I mean, if you outside, outside, then it don't matter. I, I already know when I'm gonna do it. Bucks win a title. I'm going outside, and I'm just I'm I'm spraying. You got that bug. <laughs> You got that bug. <laughs> you got that bug. You got that bug. Hug. Hey, I'm be down there. I don't give a fuck. I ain't no Bucks fan, but it's gonna be lit. <laughs> it's gonna be lit as hell in the city. I'm down here. Hey, this this nigga ain't never root for the Bucks. Hey, nigga, I'm here. He will have a magical Bucks jersey. I'm like, that's for the champagne, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a custom one. Gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but yeah, definitely let us know your favorite Stone Cold memories for the Tech File Challenge this week. Let us know. Uh, but wherever you find podcasts, you can find us. That includes Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. Google Play, mm-hmm. Stitcher, mm-hmm. SoundCloud, SoundCloud, Spotify, Spotify, Amazon Music, mm-hmm. Amazon. We there too. We there. Our radio. We are there. Pandora. We did too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Himalaya. Like a, like a player. We did. Wooska. This nigga. The Good News app. Good hey. News Radio. <laughs> that is your weekly reminder. You can catch the show live Tuesdays between 6 and 8 p.m. Central Time. Mm-hmm. Download the Good News app. And come on, listen to us. Be part of the show. We got a chat box and everything. We be we be sitting there looking, you know. Come and be part of the show. Oh, I forgot. That's the bonus uh, tech file challenge of of the month. Oh yeah. Which is show us that you have down. Show us. Take a screenshot. Show us. Show you using the app. Whatever. Like we want to see it on your phone. <laughs> the good news app, and uh, you'll enter to win a swag package from us. Swag package. Do it by the end of by the end of March. So March thirty first it locks. Well, I guess April first it locks. But yeah, do that. Anyway, yeah, go ahead, do it now. But um, you can also find us wherever you're listening to this episode now. While there, make sure that you like, subscribe, rate, review, five stars are better. It helps us, and we appreciate it. We need all of them, all five of them things. Five. Hello. Because three ain't enough. <laughs> Tim got a little more, more skin showing this week than he has. And, and I had a sound disappointment, so I had <laughs> frisky <laughs> so Tim out here. <laughs> so you wore a deep V neck? Jesus. I had Jesus. to get dressed and shit. I, I look nice on my way. You had to get naked for him? <laughs> right. And <right. laughs> <laughs> hey, he did access over here. Hey, 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 he's like, oh. no I was like, hey, they was like, sir, you do not have to take all your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought, oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> they did have to get some blood, though. I haven't had no blood with that. That is a thin shirt. I'm, you know what? I'm a that's, a one, that's one of them. He's standing on the beach. You got the breeze going. <laughs> With some linen pants. <laughs> linen pants. Got his feet out. Got a hat on. Exactly. Little, uh, one of them old school player hats. He got one, of them, one of them Neo hats. I got to get me a uh, ring. He definitely would have a Neo hat. Yeah, he would have a Neo hat on. <laughs> and he'd be singing some Neo head. on the beach, too, probably. <laughs> I could see it. And Neo was his boy, man. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. like yeah. That was my guy. <laughs> top listening cities from the past week. We got to give y'all some love and shout out to our international listeners before we hit that sport fact of the week and then get into them topics. So. Number one city. Welcome back, Milwaukee home. Hey, 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 y'all had a battle. Y'all had a battle because number two was close behind y'all, but y'all came out on top. Number two, Columbus, Ohio. Shout Columbus, out to Columbus. what's going on? We mentioned Bow Wow one time on this show, and they've been here ever since. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. <laughs> you know, it's you just like Bow Wow and shit. You. you just keep listening to it over and over again. They talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> they the only ones. <laughs> hey, Bow Weezy, I got faith in your WWE career, fam. Yeah, I mean, he'll let be you know. Oh, man, money. Know. Okay. Yeah. Number three, we got Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan. What's going on? Oh, what's up, Michigan? I like to see y'all there. Yeah. Welcome. You know, I ain't been there in a while, but. 
How y'all doing? Hope y'all all right. Number four, we got Cypress, Texas. Cypress always nope. here. Always showing love. Number five, we got Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. Hello, neighbor. What's going on, Menominee? Number six, we got Seattle, Washington. Seattle, what's up? Seattle. Hey, Russell, if you are listening, sir, <laughs> <laughs> just know I think, next year, I think he stopped you need to be in calls. Chicago, sir. Next year, you need Stop to be in Chicago. Calls, All right. Seattle reminds me, though, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my besties getting married this weekend. Shout out to to Erica and her husband to be William. Congratulations. Love y'all. Congrats. Wish I could be there, but I can't. So I'm going to send y'all love through the podcast. So everybody who's listening can send y'all some love too. Exactly. That's right. dope. Congrats. Number seven, Ashburn, Virginia. Ashburn, Virginia. Oh, hey, okay. What's going on? Number eight, we got Boiling Brook, Illinois. Boiling Brook. What's going, What's going on? on? <laughs> Number nine, we got New Berlin, Wisconsin. New Berlin. Hello, neighbor. Welcome. Welcome back. And number 10, last but not least, we got Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, yes, what's going on? Welcome back. Colorado, y'all going to be one of the first places I come when I can come somewhere. Ever. Pause. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, I got some work to do. International listeners. <laughs> we had a we had a nice showing from the from the international listeners this week. We have Russia. What's going on? Well, welcome, okay. welcome back. Oh, Russia. y'all back. Hmm? Welcome back, Russia. Welcome back. <clears throat> y'all, we saw a couple weeks ago. Come welcome back. Yeah, welcome we got back. Belgium. Belgium, trusty old Belgium. Yeah, Belgium every tough. week. New Spain. Right, Belgium to New Spain. That Spain moved to Belgium. We think we I'm telling you, <laughs> well you said that, but I think it's true. <laughs> Could be. We got the United Kingdom. UK, what's going right. on? Yeah, y'all, y'all got some shit going on. Yeah, y'all, yeah. Some, y'all, like, <laughs> y'all all up in our news like a motherfucker. Y'all on some bullshit over there. <laughs> <laughs> y'all was in our shit over there talking big shit. Now all of a sudden, the tables ain't no fun, dog. Hey, man, listen, white <laughs> lives matter <laughs> everywhere, fam. Shout out to the UK. Exactly. We also got Mexico in the building from the past week. Mexico, what's going on? Welcome. And last but not least, we had Vietnam. Vietnam, what's going on? Welcome, all y'all. Welcome. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Sport fact of the week. Yes, sir. All right, so on March 18th, 1953, in the first location change for a major league franchise since 1903, the Boston Braves announced that Milwaukee, gang gang, will be their new home. After drawing just 281,000 fans in Boston in 1952, the Braves will attract 200. a new 208,000 fans for the entirety of 1952. The Braves will attract a new National, Re- National League record 1,800,000 spectators this season. Their success will spur other big changes over the next four years. In 1954, the St. Louis Browns will move to Baltimore and be re- renamed the Orioles. In 1955, the Philadelphia Athletics transferred to Kansas City. And in 1958, the New York Giants and Brooklyn Dodgers go west to San Francisco and Los Angeles, respectively. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm just glad we got a team out of all that. Man. I mean, for a couple of years, and then they left too. Yeah, they yeah, kept trying true. to take them too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like all, all the Milwaukee teams eventually made their way to Atlanta. Damn. Because the Hawks started, in, well, the Hawks were in Milwaukee for a time. Mm. Hey, I'm happy with what we got now. I'm happy. I'm happy. Outside of the fact that we can't seem to win a big game, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey, that's something that Atlanta has in common. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 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 You too. Shit. In the same 28 to 3. Hey. Mm. Forever. That's even worse than our shit because they was right there. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. But Woo. I said I wouldn't make no more 28 3 jokes after uh, Georgia came through in the election. So I'm going to just move right on past that. And we're going to get into the topics of the week. So, of course. We have to start with NFL free agency because, per usual, a lot of things is happening. A lot of moves are being made. And instead of us going through every signing, because it's been That's a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot. Y'all can check the wire. Yeah, for sure. We are just going to frame the conversation more so around which teams have made the most improvement 
and if there's any moves that anyone really loves or really hates. So I'm going to just start right here with the fact that the Chicago Bears signed Andy Dalton today for 10 mil. It's a year. It's, a, it's only a year, but it looks like Andy Dalton is going to be the starting quarterback of the Chicago Bears. And I just want to give the floor to our regular <clears throat> Bears fan, Ken, as he had some stuff that he said he wanted to say. <laughs> All right, man. My initial reaction was like Andy Dalton. Like, wait, 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 Andy Dalton. Like for real. Like that's that's where we. All right. First of all, first of all, Ryan Pace, you can kiss my black ass. All right, and your mama's a hoe. No, <laughs> not the mama. Right. No. Signing on Andy Dalton, bro, and like Red after it, huh? The Red Rifle. That's his nickname. Get used to it. He has not played a full <laughs> NFL season since 2017. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the life of yeah. being a fucking bear fan, bro. It's like if you look at the laundry list of fucking quarterbacks, dog. Yeah, that we didn't had it's fucking ridiculous, bro. Tim, you, you want to still? Ugh. You want to run it down real quick for him so he can he can relive yeah. some memories? You, you know, know what? Y'all, because it's rough. Y'all had Cordell Stewart. Hey, Cordell. Cordell was balling here. Black like quarterback. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then y'all had. Uh, Sexy Rexy. Hey, he took us to the Super Bowl. He took us to the Super Bowl. Greg Crenshaw. I was going to say, it was a strong start to the list. It was, it was all right. Uh, Chad Hutchinson. No. Jonathan Quinn. Jesus Christ. Kyle Orton. Somebody Kyle Orton tried. Y'all think he's going to be your savior. Y'all think he's going to be your savior. Kyle, Kyle Orton, top five on this list. Easy. Kyle Orton was, that's what I said. Kyle Orton. <laughs> then y'all had Brian Greasy. Yeah. Brian Greasy was decent. But then y'all picked up Jay. Your best quarterback. <laughs> hey, that's our best. Yo, quarterback. That's our best franchise quarterback ever. And then you had Todd Collins. And then you, y'all thought y'all was gonna beat us because Caleb Haney came after him. Man. <laughs> and then Josh McCown came after him. But it was a bad. Another black Callie. quarterback, Jason Campbell. Y'all had him for a second. Black oh, yeah, we did have Jason Campbell for a second. And then y'all thought y'all had goal when y'all get uh, Jimmy Clausen because they he was supposed to be the truth on the North Dame. Y'all thought he was supposed Ooh. to be goal. Jimmy Clausen. Yeah, exactly. He was supposed to be <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That career Matt Barkley then, U- USC. J- Jimmy oh, a USC quarterback. He's supposed to be cold. Mm. Brian Hoyer. Y'all ain't even play him. Oh, Brian Hoyer. Y'all paid him. He, he was paid. supposed oh, to Brian be that Hoyer. nigga, bro. He got a free check. <laughs> oh, that pissed me off. We paid him all that. He was supposed to be. He got a free dude. check. God damn it. Bro. Then y'all had Mike Glennon. Y'all barely played him either. You forgot you had we him. We paid him plenty of money for nothing. <laughs> they paid him just a. Trade up in the draft for a quarterback. They they paid him to sit behind the next man, Mitchell Trubisky. <laughs> Again, we still trading up to get Mitchell. Might, 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 might be number five. Might be top five on this list. You know, I traded a draft for that. Name. Honestly, <laughs> bro, we traded up to get dude, bro, and Deshaun was there, bro. And then Chase Daniel. Come man, Chase was cold in the zoo. <laughs> man, and then y'all had Nick great Foles. He was a hey, a. Hey, no, it was great backup quarterback. And then finally, y'all got Andy. Andrew yeah. Dalton. All right. So, Andrew played. I say Andrew. Andy Dalton played. I don't give a fuck what the nickname is. Um, I mean, he's a right. ass man named Andy. Like, he should be Andrew at this point. Exactly. Like, Andy Dalton, goddammit. Um, he played 11 Andy. games. Like, he played 11 games, started nine. He had um, 2,100 yards. He had 14 touchdowns and eight interceptions. Well, I tell you, I, I watched more of his game. I watched him play more often than that last year because one, the Cowboys is on TV often, and two, I had three fantasy players on the Cowboys. So mm-hmm. I was trying to pay attention to the receivers, and he had them three weapons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He had Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb, mm-hmm. and Michael Gallup. Yeah. All season. Didn't do much with him. Didn't do nothing. He had 14 touchdowns. Oh, because he couldn't get the ball. He couldn't, he couldn't throw the ball down the field. That's why. That's why he could Oh, he could because he had eight picks. <laughs> he couldn't throw it accurately. Yeah, Mitch could right. do that. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch but, could do that shit. I will say this. If, and I really hate trying to give y'all a ball because, you know, I don't fuck with y'all bear fans. I really don't. But. We ain't done shit to you. But. Do. All y'all do is talk shit. But. Of the pickings, the only person that I said that y'all really should have taken over Andy Dalton, or actually two, if y'all went after somebody, was James Winston and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Other than that, this class of free agent quarterbacks mm-hmm. includes Jacoby Brissett, 
Yeah. I would have rather had Jacoby. I would rather have Tyrod Taylor. Taylor. Both of them were on my list. Both of them were on my list. Jacoby went to Miami. Yep. But anyway, Tyrod. Oh, yeah. Tyrod went to Houston. No, he went to Houston. Oh, he went to Houston? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, then you got Mitchie on there, Alex Smith, Chase Daniel, AJ McCarron, Colt McCoy, Robert Griffin the third, Matt Barkley. Like there ain't nobody else. What nobody else picked for me though. Cam ain't was out there before the Patriots. Cam was out there for a good minute, bro. Before the Patriots Cam? resigned him. Cam, Cam was, was Cam was there for a, for a big minute, bro. But then, like after, yeah, it's a legal tampering period, but who's to say they didn't have the stuff already set up to? Hey, maybe y'all said fourteen for Cam was too much, but, but ten for Andy was was more palatable. No, I don't understand that by at all. We wasting our fucking defense, yo. We did all this work to get this amazing fucking defense, and we can't get a we, we can't get a comparable fucking quarterback that can just. I don't dog. The shit is frustrating, bro. Because like low key, our chance to for real win a Super Bowl was like two or three years ago, my nigga. And now, like, the, the ship is selling. And we got Andy fucking Dalton. This is what I have to trust in. Like, oh, Andy Dalton is going gonna, is gonna to take us to the fucking promised land. The fuck out of here, B. Here's the wild part. Your offense needs a mobile, mobile quarterback. Yeah. And we think every offense needs a mobile quarterback. No, no, no. The Bears, because we seen what happened when they had Nick Foles sitting. Like, they Because their line was bad. Like, yeah, y'all better make sure your line mobile is... Quarterback. <laughs> they picked up Andy Dalton. We had we had a lot of injuries on our on our line last year, so yeah. Like I, like I said, I think y'all line when healthy <clears throat> is at like it ain't great, but it, it's it's, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as how y'all look. Then you just lose alignment. Sure. Then you lose y'all like left or right tackle. I believe we did. Yeah, one of y'all starters. Yeah, y'all best offense. Y'all just lost our best hey. tackle. Yeah, I was, there, there's still a lot of time though. I mean, we still this is only day one. Recording on yeah. day two, right? Of free agency, and we have a whole draft to go. And if I remember correctly, this is a good draft for linemen. Yeah, that's oh, what yeah, Packers fans need cool. to fucking relax. Like they ain't doing nothing. I like, ignore what? them. I just yeah, first of all, they don't, don't have any money to spend. spend. <laughs> like yeah. I don't know what you expect. Like, they're court. gonna be yeah, yeah. They're but one be, thing uh, to just I'm gonna just wrap everything up. Yeah. Go ahead, um, brother. After all of that is said, Andy Dark, Andy, Andy, <laughs> welcome to Chicago. Um, I hope you stay healthy. Um, I hope you I hope you help us win. Um, you ain't shit until you prove yourself. Damn. Um, but welcome, but you ain't shit. Yeah. Right but, until um, you show. I still have the Bears winning nine games. Let's go. Nine out of seventeen. Nine. Yep. We, we get an extra. We get an extra game. Huh? Remember, yeah, it's sixteen 17 games. It's gonna be seventeen games this upcoming season. You only get nine. Oh, of shit. <sighs> ten. Let's go. We get him ten. B. <laughs> ten to seven. Ten to seven. Let's go. They ain't going no damn way with no ten to seven. Let's go. All I know, I just want to point out the fact that the quarterbacks in the NFC North are Aaron Rodgers, mm-hmm. Andy Dalton, mm-hmm. Jared Can't Goff, wait. Wait. and Damn. Kirk Cousins. Can't Can't wait. Wait. <laughs> and that sounds like six Packer wins <laughs> yeah. to Speaking me. Which, I do well, have a short my, list of DBs that I want, and they're all older vets. Hold on, before we, like, I, I want to just hit on the Bears, like, real quick. One, like, it, it's not even fun to make fun of the Bears anymore. Like, you don't see saying Andy Dalton. Like, I can't even, like, it's all the jokes write themselves. Right. Like, I can't even, like, I can't, it, it feels like punching down. Like, like the kids swinging at air and shit. Like, like just watching him fight himself. <laughs> I'm not going to fight you. Bro. I can't hurt you any worse than you hurt yourself. Like, <laughs> You took the one out, but a uh, silver line, like I was saying, like a ten million dollar contract for a stopgap starter, like that tells me that they're probably looking quarterback in the draft. So, yeah. if you want a new savior to kind so of be looking forward to, more than likely, like that's where y'all going. At least that's where I look at it. I, I don't know, like it is. Y'all were like eight and eight though, right? So like you're picking yeah. in the middle of the round. Mm-hmm. I think they're twenty. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> they'll have a, no. It's gonna, it'll be a good it's, one. I was gonna say, like, I think that there are quarterbacks in that range. Like, you know, there are. And if you really feel strongly about somebody, like y'all will move up. So, like you said, you have the defense. Like, if all you need is a quarterback, and like y'all hit on the right one, yeah, that'll be good. That might be it. So, but can I can I ask y'all a question real quick? Mm-hmm. Who is the second best quarterback in the NFC North? Because we know who number one is. Kirk I'm just Cousins. like, yes, Kurt. Like, it's not even really close. Like, it's like, it's Aaron Rodgers, Kirk Cousins, Jared Goff, Eddie Dalton. Who else like, Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Like there are tier, there are very defined tiers in this uh, yeah. in this division. Kurt's still airing out. He'll still give you four. Oh yeah, 40, he ain't uh, great. He ain't trash points. either. Like. <laughs> right. He'll he'll put the points on the board. You grown man, he'll have the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trying to make that work for four years now. Bro. It's been, it works. No, it works. <laughs> it definitely works. Just because you don't like it, don't mean it don't work. Oh uh, shit! Any other teams, catching on. Any other team signing stand out to you that you was like, dang, that was a good pickup. Like I like what y'all doing over there right now. Two days in the free agency, when generally <laughs> it's going to be the worst contracts given out because it's the most money being spent. But hey, damn, they're all the Patriots shit. Man, the damn Patriots man. have spent more money. <laughs> This J. Robin awesome. still, bro. <laughs> He's like, let me get him, and then get him, and let me get him. They, Somebody they was saying like they, this is kind of like a two year plan. Like they purposely kind of punted on last year, so they had the rollover cap to have room to sign people this year. So, mm-hmm. and a lot of the signings they made are at positions where their draft and develop didn't work out. And mm-hmm. as a Packers fan who want, you know, our our process is draft and develop as well. I when it don't hit. It leaves you in a bad, bad spot. Mm-hmm. I do like what, what the Patriots are doing. Uh, they still need some more wide receiver help. I like the double tight ends, but man, Bill Belichick love him a tight end, don't he? <laughs> he still got fifty million. Wait, 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 bro. Wait. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to say it like that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he likes the the tight end position. That yeah, like, better. Yeah, that ain't sound better either. He's like double Whatever. tight ends. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no way to make a tight end. Yeah, work. You can't. <laughs> two for one like special. <laughs> so, Bill Belichick likes to run two tight end sets out of his <laughs> Hey, you made it work. <laughs> <laughs> so, having him sign John Smith and Hunter Henry mm-hmm. is huge for Cam because Cam actually loves passing yep. to his tight ends. Yeah. Yep. That's a mm-hmm. big yep. thing for him. Plus, they are also tight ends who can block. They mm-hmm. picked up a new left tackle from uh, Houston or Miami. What was it Miami? The left tackle uh, that had the girlfriend kicked uh, up his lap. They, they traded for him early. Uh, the Isaiah, Titans. yeah, from him, them. And then Didn't they bring they, back somebody. And then they brought back Trent Brown. So now they have two solid ends. They lost, and I think they're well, signing theoretically, a guard too. I don't think that rookie played last year. He did, but uh, no, uh, he's going to be good. <laughs> But they also restrict, like I said, so you got the tight ends, the book, and the uh, the tackles. So then you have a good line for Cam to actually run too. But regardless of the mm-hmm. running backs, Bill has already been, always had a running back by committee that he's going anyway. They needed to add wide receivers, so they picked up Nelson Aguilar and Kevin Bull. I'm mean, or what's his name? Some new. No, no, not no. Already has a new. Uh. Oh. Anyways, from 49 is wide receiver. I thought it was oh, was, uh, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, they picked him up too, so now they have a slot. They still got Edelman, so like they have a good. He made a he plugged a lot of holes that they had issues with. He picked up Matt Judon because he had an issue with linebacker last year. They got a bunch of players coming back off of COVID. Like mm-hmm. they are, Bill's getting his full squad. And he's trying to send them like Infinity <laughs> Stones. The only thing he's missing <laughs> will be the Power Stone, which would be probably his quarterback. But if you give Cam a good squad. He was cool before he caught COVID. He was actually cool ball ball before he caught COVID. That's something to so point you, out, too, because people mm-hmm. were acting like Cam was just trash. But it's like before he caught COVID, like he wasn't yeah. playing bad. Mm-hmm. And as Not we mentioned last season, like one, the Patriots had the most COVID opt outs of any team in the NFL. So mm-hmm. their roster, they already had lost a lot of top end talent that way. Two, we knew going into the season that they didn't have much at the receiver position. Like we knew Who's he trash. going to? Nikhil Harry? Man. <laughs> Man. It. That's it. This is an yeah, immense upgrade name. already. Just having those two tight ends is an immense upgrade to the receiving core. And then you add Nelson Aguilar and Bourne, and then Nikhil Harry goes down to your number four. Your number one last year goes down to number four. Which he should be. Instantly. And you still got Julian Edelman. So it's like, he got he got weapons. He got speedy guys that can hit the little short routes. Then, yeah. They might be they nice. Gonna, they they be won nice. seven games last season. How many games do the Patriots win? This upcoming season, I'm saying at least ten. Minimum, I'm going to eleven. Oh. I'm going to eleven. <laughs> I think they can do eleven wins this year. It's going to take me a while to get used to that whole seventeen game thing because wait, so they made that official or it's just like it's trending that way? No, it's it's happening because the for the Packers, uh, the gold ticket holders get the extra game this season. Well, I guess when I saw that tweet, like it said, 
it, if there's a 17th game, like they would get it. So I ain't see like it actually like come across as this is official. It's, uh, but I can be conditional, right? It's like a yeah. conditional thing. It was they a, need the 17th game. No, they they said it. They announced it in December of last year that they are moving to 17 games this upcoming season. They snuck that shit in. <laughs> Yeah, For I sure. just googled it real quick too. NFL dot com. <laughs> NFL plans to expand seventeen regular season games. Um, can I bring up the fact that the Packers kept Aaron Jones, which I didn't expect? Yeah, yeah. Sad no, to see Jamal it. Williams go. His, his yeah, post made me sad, but I thought it was gonna be the other way around. I thought Jamal Williams would be the one that we we signed because he would be I cheaper, and Aaron Jones would go bounce. Which, I was already cool with I can't agree with it, but now we got Aaron Jones back. Like, we still got our all-star, monster offense that was number one in the league last year. Like, like we still got there's the draft more, to go through now. Uh, I feel like there's more overlap between, like, Williams and Dylan than Jones and Dylan. So, like, it gives you more of, like, a situational a one, a one, look two. type of, yeah. Mm-hmm. I cannot to wait monster. <laughs> to see A.J. Dillon – moving to that number two spot, to be honest with you, though. Like, I wish Jamal the best in his next steps, but Dylan looks like he's about to be ready. Like, mm-hmm. that, that yes. Cannot wait to see that. And I feel like the the scouting report on him was that he wasn't, like, he had some room to improve, let's put it that way, as oh, a receiver. Does. But, well, yeah, just, I mean, I guess as a receiver. But, like, I saw him make some catches this year. It was like, you know. You know in practice, yes, he's showing off. Like, before the season started, Watching the training camp, well, not the training camp, but like little practice videos they had. It was like, <laughs> I think he was saying that he, they had questions about my hands or something like that. And he was having videos of him catching and practice. Like he was, he was catching some. I'm like, he's been shit. putting in work. He's been putting in some real work. <laughs> like, that's why I thought that it would have been Williams and Dylan because Dylan is a, a, a back that can catch still. Like that's what they're looking for here in Green Bay. We need our running backs to be able to catch the damn ball. You know, you know what uh, what Coach saw when he saw AJ Dillon. He said, "This could be our version of uh, Derrick Henry." Like he's like this. We, you know, he came from Tennessee. He saw what that running game can do. He he's looking for another bruiser. So you can kind of switch it up in that way too, because Dillon will run through and over you, and then uh, like step on you on the way there. And now he can, and he could catch too, as opposed to Henry. So it'd be like you can actually catch his ass over the middle of the field, ten yards up, and it's a wrap. <laughs> I might think he still needs to like prove it that he's an actual receiving threat. But I'm just saying, like I see the flashes there. I see, you mm-hmm. know, like I, I expected it to be like he's one of those backs where it's just like you just hand the ball off, like you never throw it to him out of the backfield. But like there was some, like he made like a move on a ball that wasn't like put right on him and like caught it and ran like. So I saw, I saw I saw the potential there. I guess is the way I want to put it. Um, I had another point, but I forgot. So, man, I'm feeling so stir crazy from from COVID. <clears throat> Listen, if the Packers is opening up practice again for fans to come through, I might I'm have to, to slide through. Might have to slide on. Man, it's fun going. Like I've always enjoyed going up to uh, Green Bay for practice because it's it's just like it ain't they gonna do like you, a random Saturday. You like you feel like going to Green Bay real quick. <laughs> Like and just for like practice, it. you could just go up there and check literally out. never a sentence that's ever come out of my mouth. But yeah, yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely. Hey, random weekend and the dude be like, you trying to go up there? The mayor be you like, I need go. a purpose. I'm like, ah, <laughs> no. To go anywhere, no, anywhere north of Mequon. Like, I need, I need a damn good reason. Like, I'm not just going there on the humbug. That's crazy. That reason oh, that's was the Packers practice and <clears throat> just going to Lambo, eating at Lambo, all that kind of stuff. But. It's nice to be able to see the stadium on a non-game day where you don't have to worry about 85,000 people, like, you know, around you. But Dodging random vomit in the, yeah. in the parking lot. Like, it's it's like a good way to see Lambeau and Green Bay without all of, like, the people that come along with it. Like, it's going to be people out there, cause, but not as many as a game. Oh, the I remember my point. Pretty much keep, uh, go ahead. Sorry, just uh, shout out to Aaron Nagler. He made this point, um, but he was saying, like, don't look at it as the Packers paid – top dollar for a wide, which it wasn't really top dollar, but top dollar for a running back, like they paid for a running back and a wide receiver because like he's a weapon both in the passing game and a running game. So you get that dual threat. Like factor that yeah, into like your And like Corey Lindsley was out so discount. much. Yeah, for sure. And Corey Lindsley was out so much last year, like they showed that they could kind of survive like obviously like you would no. love to have him Later as again. opposed to not have it. No, Corey Lindsay Corey Lindsay didn't miss, he didn't miss game, a game. Seven years. Two hundred and fifty-one straight. Or Ooh, Lindsay, yeah, Lindsey was. Corey Lindsey didn't miss a game. Batiari got hurt 
uh, or maybe he like, like left some games. Like, like, but they I know that they did some shuffling like around. Uh, yeah, the center yeah. position. Yeah, center didn't game. shuffle. Center didn't shuffle, but it was everywhere else around him that was that was moving and grooving. But yeah, and Lindsey went to the Chargers. Yeah, but he over there with uh, Balaga now. And they picked <laughs> up another uh, guard, too. So they're trying to give uh, Herbert some Herbert protection. Some, yeah, like he got a line now. I'm, I'm not mad at it. I'm yeah, not that's, mad at that's it. smart moves. Protect the, inve- protect the investment. <laughs> if you got a cold franchise quarterback, get him a line. That's rule number one. Get him a damn line so you can protect the franchise. Like, Must damn. be nice, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how that feel, goddamn <laughs> To have a the even franchise quarterback, what? <laughs> they ain't even in our vocabulary, B. <laughs> the <clears throat> Tom Brady agreed on an extension to pretty much do what he always has done, which is give his team more room to work while he still finds a way to get paid. Nineteen million. He gave. Brock he came back. Nineteen million. Tampa Bay figured out how to keep Shaq Barrett. I like what like Tampa Bay Super Bowl yeah. champs came. They coach said everybody running the back. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. His back. He you told this guy with that too. You ain't going nowhere. No, you tag <laughs> with the tag on him. Like, like, oh, you thought you was going. You thought you was going to be out here. <laughs> no, no, no. You need you to come on back. The only person that's still out there is Antonio. And he probably going to float out there for a little while. He ain't going to be. He ain't going to be. Time go ahead. Have that. Time go go in the office. We done playing with Antonio. Bring him back now. Bring him back. <laughs> Antonio, week two, week three, week four type of signing. He ain't. He ain't. Uh. Because we go ahead. He have ain't a top billing. Season. I mean, a whole yeah training camp and everything. Preseason games. Like, it's gonna be. Teams gonna get their shit together this year. Ain't gonna be a lot of that crazy ass rash of injuries at the beginning of the year like it was last year because nobody got the chance to Not really practice or warm up. Like, it's, it's going to be a, a normal NFL season, and we haven't seen a normal NFL season in a minute. Well, like, I know so. they, they've mentioned that some things they might actually keep the same way they did in COVID. Like, I know a lot of players preferred to have the virtual uh, – what was that like the mini camp? Like before you actually come to training camp, like they liked that a lot more than actually going into the you know mm-hmm. building and doing. All, they felt like they were. Able, I know Aaron Rodgers in particular said like I felt like I learned a lot more being able to do things that way. Um, another sign I wanted to just bring up that I really did actually like is uh, the Titans picking up Bud Dupree. Mm, that was a big one. They picked up the Colts defensive uh, tackle too. Yeah, um, I like that. I like that. They trying to show up that run game that they didn't have. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And outside of that, I mean, mm. there's been a lot of other moves, but again, y'all can definitely check the wire. Famous Jameis is staying in New Orleans. <laughs> Have y'all seen his workout videos? Uh uh Literally the worst shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like, <in my> life. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of look at his body and tell he's not Bro, a dedicated he does gym not, guy. He does not go hard at all. <laughs> He was barely do. He was going barely like that dog. I was just like, this dude garbage. Bro. <laughs> hey, well, y'all know I love Winston, hey, but that shit. Would you rather have him or Andy Dalton? Though? Oh shit! Hey, he could be garbage in Chicago. God damn it! <laughs> so, well, you know, he throw to us out of Allen Robinson. Like Robinson would love it because he finally has somebody to air it out to. Him, but yeah, you, oh, you, you know, Winston definitely two. can air it out. Get your trade on number two. Y'all trying to trade Anthony Miller right now? Yeah, but ain't, isn't that to kind of isn't that to make? Room to sign Robinson. Yeah, that's the reason yeah. why. Like that's the only reason why is to is yeah. to give him. He's on his rookie deal. I hear, but it's to, it's. Is we gotta keep we gotta keep Robinson, to, bro. Because like, if we him. lose him, then it's just like it's a wrap. Who Andy Dalton to throw to, bro? <laughs> bro, he had three people to throw to last year. He didn't. Hey, but then, well, if you get rid of Allen Robinson, then really who? Then he, he literally has no weapon. To like he couldn't do nothing with three weapons. You will take away the one. Now what? Now what? Some wild shit, man. It's a wild, wild lesson, learned, man. Chicago. One thing I learned yeah. last week is that I have no idea how NFL contracts work because it was plenty of people like restructuring and like that frees up $8 million in cap room. It's like, but you paying them the same amount. It's just like a different way of accounting it. Like, they're, they're changing their base salary into a signing bonus, which allows them to stretch it out. So it's still the same pay, but you're getting paid that as a signing bonus for next year. So and basically, like, they don't that. get. So if I was due to make eight million dollars this year, I convert all that into a sign up then it's like stretched out over three years. So like I get four this year, two next year, and two the year after that. Like that type of thing. Yeah, plus your incentives and shit. So it's like 
but it's it's a lot of. That's what I, I, that's what I was like. <laughs> and then they came across shit. like uh, Taysom Hill, like signed a four year, hundred forty million dollar extension, but he only gonna get like ten of it or something like that. I'm like and the other four years avoided and shit. Yeah, it's, like it's kind of a fake one hundred and forty million dollar deal, but there's a stipulation in there that we can void. All four of these years without any issues or penalty or just cap or anything like that. Like, there's some kind of weird, again, loopholes and clauses. These motherfuckers, you find, you find the best financial analysts in the world to get this shit together. Because, man, they moving money like it ain't shit. To rewind really quick before we move forward, Corey Lindsay did miss games. He only played 13 okay. games this past season. To rewind. I remember him going on IR. And I'm like, so I, def- I definitely thought he was there. Did up. That's, yeah, I thought he was there. So with him missing, that's what I was saying. Like it, they shuffled around the offensive line so much, like between his injuries and then uh, Bakhtiari's injuries. Like obviously, don't get rid of Bakhtiari, but like between those injuries, like they were able to kind of shuffle guys through different positions, and they held up pretty pretty well. I feel like the Packers learned their lesson about needing uh, quality offensive linemen, especially now that Aaron Rodgers is getting older too. Like that's mm-hmm. when they don't really play too much uh, play too much about anymore. Mm-hmm. I I wouldn't be surprised if they drafted another line. I was going to say, I would expect him to. Yeah. Because yeah. we'll, we'll like, we got those like four extra comp picks, so we'll probably three. use, or three. So we'll probably and. use those to grab some, <laughs> some more linemen. We good about drafting some fifth and sixth rounders and turning them into something. Corey was a second round pick. But and Kyle, uh, Kyle Long came out of retirement, so you know. Yeah. He ain't going to he Chicago. Not going to he Chicago. Paid not going to Green Bay, though. <laughs> no, he talking about the, the Raiders and I think the Chiefs, if I remember right, correctly. But I know the Raiders for sure because his, his dad played for the franchise. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I, I saw somebody like, how long I got to sit if I ain't got to go back to Chicago? <laughs> 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 A year uh-huh. back. Uh-huh. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but NFL clubs were informed that they are going to actually be allowed back into their draft rooms for the upcoming draft that we were just kind of talking about. Of course, they have to be practicing, you know, social distancing and mm-hmm. wearing masks and all the protocols such as that. But they're going to put cameras in there as well since people enjoy the home draft and seeing the cameras and the war room. So. Looking I'm actually like once things go back to normal, quote unquote. Like I'll be interested to see one, like what type of stuff sticks around. But like also, I want to hear like what they like, what made it different, I guess, and like what did they take away from that? Like, and I, I guess in, in all in all situations. So like once we go back to work from working remotely, like I wonder if we'll kind of have like a debrief. Like, okay, what <laughs> work? Like, how can we incorporate some of the things that we didn't. <clears throat> necessarily think about before we had to go home for it and like how can we improve the draft experience or the work experience going forward because mm-hmm. yeah. it's like you know you had to be on a different server to kind of like conference in basically like your war room and like now coming like was it really that big of a deal like to now go back into the war room or like is it just like this is all how we always did it so we want to go back to doing it that way I communication I think in those situations are just easier when you're all in the same room just so mm-hmm. many different people who have to weigh in and whatnot like yeah mm-hmm. you can do it virtually but it's it's all it's easier just to be in person like I think of us doing this podcast like it's it's easier to do it in person we've been able to do it but mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely it's, it's, it's easier to do uh, in person but after a year away March Madness is, is back indeed yeah, um, so tournament seating is set and March Madness is finally upon us. Um, I know I'm excited. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love March Madness. I actually watched it this year. I haven't had a chance to the last couple. Mm-hmm. Oh, because you've yeah. been at work and whatnot? Because I was doing military stuff. So I always had oh, uh, yeah. drilling oh, okay. stuff like that or some kind of assignment that I was doing around March Madness that I could never sit. It's always owned in the shop, but I could never really sit and watch the game. Okay. That's so like, I watch it this yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> But um, Gonzaga is the overall number one. Um, the four number one seeds are, of course, Gonzaga, Baylor, Illinois, and Michigan. Um, Let me pull up my bracket. Yeah. And then it starts uh, Thursday. Illinois is my squad. I got them winning the, the chip. You got them winning the whole thing? Yeah, absolutely. Have you been mm-hmm. watching them? Yeah, I do, too, actually. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, all I got to say is, hey, yo. That boy, yeah. a beast. <laughs> hey, yo, is a beast. <laughs> and he got the Batman mask now because he broke his nose. Man, he out here ball. <laughs> Let's go. 
Man, look, I hear you. I <laughs> hear you. I'm from Wisconsin, for sure, of course. You got Wisconsin going home? Get Wait, where? First round. No. What you talking? Hold on. Don't be jumping like that, Millie. I ain't said none of that. You know, always <laughs> no, I say I, I was asking I said you that a while ago. I know, but I'm asking you how Wisconsin going where? Just first. They ain't digging out the first round. They get about it, yeah, okay. We got <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll get past the sweet I mean the sixty four, but after that they they out. Yeah, they can right. beat North Carolina, but if they, they when they run into Baylor, it ain't it, they Baylor ain't. go dog walk them. <laughs> I don't know because they they've been no, having bro. Some no. games. Have you watched I Baylor? Know. Have you <laughs> watched <laughs> Baylor this year? Baylor's been good too though. Hey bro, man, dog, this year all the number ones are on a different level, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like for right. real, for like Michigan. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, like look, if uh that's what's the final name they could injure it from Michigan, I would have had them going further. Uh mm-hmm. Was it liver? Uh, livers? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Shout out now to Jawan Howard, yo. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I wanted Shout to out, pick. Bro. I wanted to put Michigan <clears throat> in my Final Four, but mm-hmm. that injury that I mean, that's like their best player. Like I can't. Like, yeah. I, Does everybody have I, their I, brackets I up? Yeah. Uh, I can put mine. Yeah. All right. Uh, give me your Final Four. So, uh, so y'all know. gonna y'all gonna hate me because y'all mm-hmm. was just talking how much y'all love uh, Illinois. Mm-hmm. But I'm going with some upsets here. Okay. I feel you. My final four: I got Gonzaga, mm-hmm. I got Alabama, oh, I got okay. Baylor, and I have Oklahoma State. Mm. Okay. I see the vision. Yeah, Kate Cunningham is see, the like, best player. In yeah, the- <laughs> <laughs> in the- I, I know Wisconsin getting out of there, but I'm following. Like okay. I can see, I, see I can see Kay trying to do a do a mellow and just be like. Yeah. I got y'all. Like, let's go. <laughs> and like, I, I I started to go there. One, like, they were going to run in Illinois, so I was like, eh. <laughs> but um, <laughs> like, I also have noticed over the years that like, when it's like a one man team, mm-hmm. and it's like a super freshman, like, they don't typically go that far in, in the tournament. Like, for whatever reasons, mm-hmm. like, once they get to playing great teams consistently, like those teams game plan for the star, and then like the other guys basically had to beat them. So, mm-hmm. I mean, K could just be that damn good and it doesn't yes. matter, but <laughs> yes. his supporting, his supporting you know. cast isn't that great. Like, I mean, but they they so got we'll uh, some experience though. That squad ain't like a team full of freshmen and stuff like that. Like they got a, they got some age on them. So they, they, they got some experience. So maybe we'll their experience can tie in with his talent. Hopefully. We'll see. I, I but I got Gonzaga winning it all. I got I got Gonzaga uh, going undefeated whole season, cutting down the the nets at the end of it. Okay, Being yeah, they okay, team they team ridiculous. They got three like three, three starters are like um, top five um, picks. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> but they are uh, like they do have three players on the All American team. Yeah, mm. like uh, one on four. team one and two on team two, I think. I got uh, Gonzaga, Colorado, Baylor, and Oklahoma State. That's my final Colorado. Four. Colorado. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have Gonzaga, Michigan, Illinois, and Villanova. And I have Illinois beating Gonzaga in the t- championship game. Yeah, you ain't wrong. Can you show final four? Um, the number one is Gonzaga, Baylor, um, Illinois. Michigan. Yeah, Michigan, my bad. But then I have um, Gonzaga, Illinois, National Championship game, Illinois winning. Okay. Okay. Because it's not just AL. Like, Kofi Cockburn is a beast, too. Like, Like, I'm telling you, like, definitely watch Illinois. If y'all haven't watched them all year, like, watch them in the tourney. Like, I normally like to, before March Madness starts, like, normally there's some kind of articles that come out, like, here are the NBA prospects, Mm -hmm. um, and they're on these teams. Mm -hmm. Like, and I love, because I don't watch a lot of college basketball throughout the season outside of Marquette games, but Marquette pissed me off so much that I barely wanted to watch them. <laughs> they were just so inconsistent. They got to fire. Well, well, I'm tired of that, Nick. Like, he got to go. <laughs> he got to go. But anywho, that's neither here nor there at this moment. But I'm I'm looking forward to the tournament. This is going to be one of those times where working from home is going to be we'll beautiful. <laughs> I ain't got to worry about trying to figure out how to stream and use all mm-hmm. my data up while I'm at work and all this types of stuff, but normally my, never mind, I'm not going to incriminate nobody. Mm-hmm. We're just going to move on. <laughs> 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 we'll just move on from that. We'll move on. And then with the women's bracket, 
<laughs> um, yeah, uh, so the number one seeds with um, the women's bracket is Stanford, UConn, North Carolina State, and South Carolina. And then North Carolina State was the number one overall. Number one, yeah, well. overall. Yeah, I went in chalk on that one. <laughs> like, I just got yeah, one of my seeds. Yeah, I did too. I do have I UConn winning it, though. I was going to say, I got UConn winning it. Because Paige is, yeah. Paige is the truth. Oh, she different. Yeah, she is. Oh, she's. Like, for real, she, for real. Like, yeah, she cold. Yeah, UConn's going to be without their head coach uh, for for a little while, too. He tested positive for, for COVID. You know. Oh. After he got the thing, too. Which was after he finished the uh, vaccine. So. Oh, for real? Damn. Oh, and, wow. But then say he got his last shot sometime last week, and then he tested positive on Friday. Oh, or maybe it was yesterday. Man. Maybe it was, I don't it, it was some type of, look it up, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. For, for the folks who are getting the vaccine, as a reminder, you still got to do what you're supposed to be doing. Like, it ain't a, I'm invincible. Like, right. Boris from GoldenEye, like, no, nah, you got to you gotta keep, you got to keep it moving, keep it they moving. They get the first shot, like, fuck a mask. <laughs> <laughs> throwing it off. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua agreed and they signed. They put the pen to the paper. We got a two fight deal on the table to unify those heavyweight titles. They're just looking for a location now. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Two fights. So, I mean, like, one title is on. Uh, no, it's a rematch clause in there. So, the second fight, like, no matter who oh, it's contingent. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they put that rematch in there asap because they was like, mm, you know. hey, we don't want to hear no whining, no complaining, no none of that shit. Don't run. <laughs> I thought it, like right. No, I thought it was gonna be like that WrestleMania match. I think it was like uh, Benoit, Jericho, and Kurt Angle, and it was like both of Kurt Angle's titles was on the line. Like the first fall was for like the Intercontinental, and the second fall was for like the European. Mm, and then like a different person that. won both the two, the first two matches. And Kurt Angle didn't get pinned either time, and he lost both his titles. I remember that. That's true. Hey, I was mad with Kurt. I was like, "How dare y'all!" <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I I'm big right. looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm big looking forward to this fight. Like we were talking about it before we went on air last week, I believe. But just like how the heavyweight division just ain't what it used to be, but. <laughs> You finally get two of the bigger, bigger name, biggest names from the from the pool. You got mm-hmm. them and Wilder, like that's the top three right there. And we finally get to see them go up against each other. And it's for something like stakes like this to unify the belts. You know how many belts it is in boxing? Too yeah. many to keep up with. Right. About time y'all unifying <laughs> these, cause my God, like everybody a champ, man. <laughs> like, what the champ? I'm the champ. No, I'm the champ. I got a belt. I got one too. Like, so my belt better than yours. They had to buy one, get one free on belts. They was just like, <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to see who the, who the best. But yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely looking forward to seeing those fights. So um, what does that leave Wilder? Outside angling, angling to try to get whoever uh, is the champ after that second rematch. <laughs> He's got to keep doing he, – what he has to do while they're doing this is he got to get some wins and make sure people remember to keep him in the conversation as well. As long as he don't lose again, mm-hmm. he should he should be next up after they finish their their two-fight deal. He, gotta, he better start fighting again. I mean, I don't know what Wilder's actually been up to, to be honest with you. Do not – Cannot recall. I was like, it ain't like one no boxing matches happening because there was hella boxing and fighting going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they well, was definitely seen, fighting. Yeah, I, was like, I ain't seen Wilder name out there at all because we, I was, we definitely was watching some boxing matches. So curious to yeah. know what he up to because if, if he's forgotten, bro, or like he can't come out of war. Yeah, you know, I'm up for the champ. Like, bro, we ain't seen you boxing almost two years. What you talking about? <laughs> like, on somewhere. Like, you gotta, you gotta show something. Like. You, can you still move? Can you do like so? I'm, I'm curious oh, yeah. how if his name still rings for him to be able to just hop back in to the title picture, or he has. Some like, I just did a quick Google, and it looks like they're angling to get him to fight Andy Ruiz. Oh, oh. if he could be Andy, it, it don't lose. Don't lose. We say that We say that once. You lose, and <laughs> to this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to this day. That man's intense. He uh yeah. Don't lose Wilder, but with Ferry and, and Joshua, Joshua is my boxing boo. You know? <laughs> um, boxing boo. He my boxing boo. I gotta have a boo in every sport, but he my boxing boo. And uh Who is it in baseball? Know. Pop quiz. 
I might not have a. Oh, I don't know his name. It's some fine. Yeah, it's some, love, it's, yeah, it's some fine Eric baseball Thames. players. Oh, Eric Thames. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Eric Thames. But he ain't. He ain't in the league. He ain't. He ain't. Uh, I don't know who he play for. I don't think he. He don't play. I don't think in MLB no more. If he do, he, he might. Or he may have went over to Japan again or something. That's what I thought, but. I'm doing a quick Google on him. He is. Don't worry, I can find me some fine baseball players and report back next week. The season yeah, starts on good. the first. We'll, we'll be, <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that grade A, that grade A reporting, Camille. We're okay. <laughs> Korean league, bro. I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> but no, real quick. Speaking of boxing, we do want to pay our respects to the legend Marvin Hagler, who passed away uh, mm-hmm. since we last touched base. Listen. Um, my grew up in a boxing family where you just it was just be on you know the black box got the got the fights on and I remember hearing all the time about how great Hagler's match was against uh, Tommy Hearns they're like it's the mm-hmm. the best the best round of boxing of all time and I remember like being grown up like okay whatever and when I finally like watched it I was like oh these niggas is out here like <laughs> that one I, I just watched it today. <laughs> Like, I was just like, yo, they was going, they was throwing hands, like for real. Three for straight, real. Men, like the whole round, yeah. like, hands. like they didn't give a fuck. They was fighting like, like nigga, you disrespect, I'm whooping your ass. <laughs> like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they was out there. I was like, damn. But definitely sending love to to his family and to all the fans and those who were uh, touched by him while he was physically walking on this earth. Mm-hmm. Hagler was the undisputed middleweight champ from 1980 to 1987. Seven years. Yeah. He defended that title 12 yeah. times successfully. He had 52 knockouts in 67 career fights. 78% knockout percentage. And that remains a high mark for middleweight champions. Marvelous Marvin. Rest in peace, Rest in peace. For sure. Some NBA injury news. Joel Embiid, he suffered a bone bruise, hyperextended his left knee after he fell. And I am so glad that that's all that that injury was. Yeah, because it looked like it could have been worse. It looked bad. Like I was playing 2K, looked down and said, oh, Lord, Jesus. Like, (laughs) like. It looked really bad, so I'm yeah. definitely glad that it should be a two to three week type of injury for him, and he should be back soon. I will say personally, I hate that when the Bucks play the 76ers tomorrow, we will not be able to see MB. I was very, very much looking forward to that matchup, uh, Milwaukee and, and Philly. I always do, ever since the the Malcolm Brogdon Rookie of the Year <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. back and forth that we had with, with Philly and. I just want y'all opinion. How do y'all think that his absence is going to affect the 76ers over these next two to three weeks? They're the number one seed in the East right now. They got Brooklyn and Milwaukee right up there behind them. And I know they've played without Embiid in years past due to injury, Mm -hmm. but those teams also had a few more quick shooters that you could uh, kind of change your play to fit the team being built around Ben in those moments than Mm -hmm. the team is now. So mm-hmm. I'm just curious to know what y'all think about the 76ers uh, over the next couple of weeks without Embiid. That's the first question. I got to follow about the MVP race, but we'll start there. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at their schedule now. Their next five games are Washington, San Antonio, New York, Milwaukee, Sacramento. Wait, no. No. So Milwaukee. Milwaukee, the- Sacramento, yeah. And they play tonight against the Knicks. So I don't know why they did that. Whatever. Sorry. I'm on <laughs> NBA.com and their schedule is kind of weird. Like how they got it. Sorry. So next five games are Knicks, Bucks, Sacramento, Knicks, Golden State, Clippers. I mean, Lakers, then Clippers, then Denver. Mm. So they got some tough ones. <laughs> like yeah. Sacramento is really the only gimme, um, if you can call it that. So it's the all-star time to shine. Shit. I was going to say, like, uh, Ben got to step it up, which, I mean, like, to his credit, he has – in years past when Embiid has been out. Um, but to Camille's point, that was a different team with a different coach. Um, mm-hmm. But, I mean, I guess I believe in Doc Rivers uh, enough <laughs> that he can kind of make that adjustment. And they do still have talent. Like, they, blew they the still stars. have Ben. They still have Tobias Harris. Mm-hmm. Like, they actually have backup centers for once. Um, Dwight like Howard time. Dwight is Dwight, but... He at least gives you something at that position. Yeah, 20 right. minutes the other night. He can do what he can do. Tony Bradley is 
what he is. But again, like that's another live bite that you have at center. Like whereas years before, like like Jonah Bolton's and shit. Like they, you know, like at least they have like legitimate NBA players that they can plug in at center while Embiid is out. So, mm-hmm. um, I guess and the bite thing that nobody's really paying attention to is like the top of the East is really playing well right now. Like extremely well. Brooklyn, Philly, Milwaukee, Miami, like all of them have won like eight or nine out of their last 10 games <laughs> coming into East, today. So, yeah, you know, the, like <laughs> the East is going to be a fun finish to the end, because as you mentioned with Miami, uh, they had their COVID stuff at the beginning of the season. They had some injuries that they were fighting through. And now that mm-hmm. they're all back, like they're nine and one over their last 10. Mm-hmm. And Jimmy Butler is playing like an MVP. He probably won't get consideration Bam's for it. I think Bam is out and. Jimmy is just out here looking like the reason why they got to the finals last year. Like mm-hmm. Jimmy's taking another step. I mm-hmm. love watching Jimmy play. But. <laughs> yeah, the top two is on a five game winning streak, and then the Bucks and Miami are on four game winning streaks, and Atlanta's on a five game winning streak. Yep. Since they fought, since they got rid of their coach, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. They Atlanta's had a Tony been... Snell game winner and everything. Game winner from Tony. Like, Three yeah, piece Tony. chicken and <laughs> nuggets for Tony. Yeah, the Tony <laughs> Snell. They own him, motherfucker. Too. <laughs> okay, Tony. Yeah, they've been Danilo Gallinari's back, so they've been he been kind of like helping them. Not kind of, he been hooping. It's, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna stay. The, the, the Pacers no. are a team I'm looking looking towards or looking at a little bit. It's like now that they got uh. Yep. Here's the bird. Didn't say mm-hmm. back. Like he just made his debut. Yeah, they say he's looking kind of shaky though. I mean, he comes back from race, fucking cancer. Uh, cancer surgery. Cancer. <laughs> he should. Yeah. He should uh, be shaky. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> take your time, young man. All right. It's all good. All right. Now, by most accounts, MB was leading most people's MVP race. Mm-hmm. With him being out two weeks, two three weeks. Probably three weeks. Let's 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 say three because he'll probably need like some time to ramp back up after the two week initial period. What do y'all plus think that no does real. in the MVP race? You said what? I was gonna say plus there's no real reason to rush him, rush him back. Like especially it's M- MB. Right. Like you want to be pro- yeah. They got bigger goals. So MVP race. What do He's y'all think? And M- you think he uh, throws him out? Yeah, because. The amount of games that's going to take place in the next two or three weeks, if he's fine. Like, it's a lot of four-game weeks coming up with some cats. Like, he can easily miss eight to ten games in the stretch. Easily. And that's eight to ten out of 72, not 82 like it usually. Yeah. 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 So, that, he can miss, in essence, he's missing a whole month's worth of games in his two to three weeks. He's going to be forgotten quick. So, with that being said, like, what is y'all MVP ranking like? Y'all top five MVPs right now. Like, who at like, this moment? At well, this let me moment, ask this question. Like, is it how I would vote for MVP or how I think that the MVP voting would go? How you would vote. Okay. How you would vote. Because I feel like with Embiid being out, that puts Jokic at the, the number one spot. Because he was, him and Embiid were kind of going back and forth a little bit as it was in my, like, my ranking, uh, I had Giannis low initially. Like when I was on Give Me a Bug Pocket, I was like, he he top five somewhere in there, but he probably more about four five. But listen, that I man Giannis is a monster. I know He's y'all ain't gonna give it to him media because he won two already, and y'all be bringing up playoffs even though they ain't supposed to have no bearing. But he's a monster. <sighs> this man is hooping. <laughs> Who? Ben, three straight triple doubles at this point. Like, I'm just. Uh, Here's the thing. Like, is everybody's kind of bunched up at the top, and I like. I actually still have, I think, depending on how quickly he comes back, like I think Embiid will probably still be in it, and also it depends on how they play when he's out. Because like, if they, you know, keep on winning like they have been, and he's not playing, it's like, oh well, how much do they really need him? You know what I mean? Like, can you just chill into the playoffs? Just go ahead, practice, put in the work and practice. Stay behind doors, and then we'll bring you like, in at the end of the season. If okay. if they don't need, right. but say Ben and Tobias, and, uh, they got a nice squad. Honestly, they really do. No, they're yeah. one in the East for a re- like they're right. one in, like, the, in the East for a reason. But a fine. lot of that is behind Embiid. Like if they mm-hmm. don't have Embiid in the playoffs, they're not doing nothing. No, yeah. Um, 
But then, you know, like, Jokic is putting up the stats, but his team has been inconsistent when it comes They're to, like, like wins and shit. They're, like, fifth or sixth in the West. Um, 23 and, and 16. Yeah, like, they're respectable, but it isn't, like, you know, top three in the conference like an MVP usually is. LeBron, yeah. LeBron is kind of fading because AD is out, which I don't know. Again, like, I don't know. I don't know what to take from that because, like, again, if – LeBron was out, like they wouldn't be winning either. So, like, they need LeBron and AD. Yeah. So you can't really say like, oh, LeBron can't carry the team. It's like the team wasn't built for LeBron to carry the team. Right. Definitely right. not. Um, <laughs> it was built to be carried by that duo. Exactly. Right? Kind of can say the same thing about Giannis. Like they missed Drew Holiday for a month or three weeks or whatever it was. Lost a bunch of games, but when he's played, like they've been at a top. You know, top seed in the East type of rate. So mm-hmm. then you got Dame, Steph, like they're on teams that aren't necessarily like high up in the standings, but like they've been playing out of their minds. Jimmy missed a bunch of games, and then you got Harden who did all that shit in Houston. And Kyrie, but he's been balling. Kyrie mm-hmm. deserves some. He deserves to be talked about Kyrie. in the Ooh, in man. the race. Yeah. But listen, I know how Ari, I know how you feel about James Harden, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, he uh, he's been playing well. Like he's yeah. been playing very well since he got to Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. But since how Brooklyn. much do you factor in like all the bullshit that he did in Houston? How, he was in Houston for what fifteen games? Uh, well, I mean, how many of those games did he play? Because he missed some with COVID yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm and, just trying to think of right. That's what like I'm seventy two. Like right. how many was he in in Houston? I'm, Personally, eight games he played in Houston. He he only played in eight in Houston. Okay, only played he played eight and started eight in Houston. Mm, and he missed like four or five probably. <laughs> but the it, but the thing is, like if if Giannis's playoff stuff is held against him, like why isn't it held against Harden, who's been even worse in playoffs? He's played twenty six. Great in, question in Brooklyn though. So it's like it's people forgot. Oh, because he in a he in a new situation. Like if Giannis would have yeah, because like, he played way more games now as a net than he did with. Houston. No, you're still on that original point. My question was like, why does play why is playoff failure being held against Giannis when it isn't being held against Harden? It was for a second. I'm talking about this always, year, like in, in MVP <laughs> oh, conversation. Yeah, he hasn't been any better. Like he's gonna next. That's why I say, yeah, he, he went to a new team. Like, if no, Giannis would have left Milwaukee, they'd probably be like, oh, MVP. Like, yeah. come on, man. Like, yeah. like right. he would, he definitely, because, yeah, they couldn't get past, like, Western Conference Finals. He he chokes in the Western Conference Finals every year and shit. Like, I mean, look what they did against the Lakers last year. Like, they played worse against the Lakers than the Bucks did against Miami. Like, granted, mm-hmm. they weren't favored, but, like, they just, like, completely rolled over. I mean, come on, it's the Lakers. It's like, hard, like, he's had <laughs> I'm just saying, they like, didn't try. Like, it, it wasn't just the Lakers just beat their ass. It was just like, ah, oh, fuck it, we out of here. <laughs> like, I'm out of here. And the main Russ one tried. was James Harden. I was like, Russ tried. Russ yeah, was Russ, trying his hardest. Russ was just hurt. But, like, and he just came back from COVID, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. But it'll now, be, but again, it'll be now interesting, look at man. Because I was listening to the post earlier today, and like, dude was like, you know, I just I don't feel comfortable voting for Giannis after I did the last two years, and then he did what he did in the playoffs. But then he was like, but you know, you can't discount James Harden because like he's just been amazing in Brooklyn. It's like you can't have it both ways, like because he's in Brooklyn. That's it. That's they it. Forgot that he was zero for seventeen. <laughs> no, I forgot about that. So you yeah. just said two it. years in a row, the team they missed twenty five straight. That's one thing about. Harden in Brooklyn that I think is going to help him out where he's not going to be tasked with having to be that guy to take that shot. Like Mm -hmm. he's in a perfect role for him to thrive because Kyrie has never seen a shot that he don't like anyway. So he can get KD back. Give me the ball. Like he gets to be be slotted in that perfect role of him not having to have all the pressure on him because Mm -hmm. like he has other or any of the pressure on him because it's like it don't matter. Like if he he start missing, but uh, I was listening to Nikai Duncan and Steve Jones Jr. Like they have a podcast called The Dunker Spot. Y'all should listen; it's really good. But yes, sir. They asked a question: It was who is Brooklyn's best offensive player? And it was like my visceral reaction was like Kevin Durant, and I was yeah. like, "Well, is he?" But you got to use because it's like the creation from James Harden is just like it's like ridiculous. that's a factor that like. Durant and Kyrie are not touching like as a creator, like somebody that can run the offense. Like they're not on that level as a playmaker, but it's like, mm-hmm. as a pure scorer, it's like, okay, Kevin Durant, but then it's like, well, I mean, like, as a pure scorer, like, can you really get better than James Harden? Like, yeah. like Harden is right there. Like, yeah. like there was scorer. a play in the game they had recently where Harden did his step back, 
the dude bit on the fake. He pump fake, passed it off to DeAndre Jordan real quick. Cut. And the dude, the defender, was completely like, oh, my God, I didn't expect none of this to be happening. James caught the ball in the cut because he, he has so much gravity. Everybody crashed, and that nigga just threw the oop up to, D, to DJ. It was, it was one of the <laughs> most beautiful things. Fucking beautiful. Uh, it, I was like, dang, that's some good basketball right there. I was like, God. His man, IQ dude. is ridiculous. Ridiculous on all yeah. sets of it. Like it's ridiculous to the point where like he's like he is right there as far as the offensive talent goes with Katie. And then we say all that, but it's like one possession, whose hands do you want the ball in the most? And it might be Kyrie. It's like what the fuck? Like what the fuck? Like you got <laughs> Kyrie, James Harden, yeah. Kevin Durant, like those might be the three best offensive players in the league. Right now, and they're on the same team. Like yeah. And it's, we mentioned it before, and Kyrie's having a very efficient season. Yeah. Like, un, like un Kyrie like efficient. <laughs> I don't it's crazy. It's grab Andre Drummond, bro. They grab nah. Drummond. It's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap. They gonna get the AT boards from that motherfucker, bro. They'll put DJ on the best for Drummond. They'll I got them favorite. The I got them still favorite coming out the East. Uh, so them adding Drummond doesn't really change too much yeah. of where I have I'm them slotted. And that's not Bucks fans don't come at me all crazy. Mm-hmm. Like Brooklyn is like they are, they can play enough defense at this point to kind of get them where they need to go. Mm-hmm. Now again, I like the Bucks is I like the Bucks chance in this seven game series against Brooklyn. But if you're asking me who I think you know is favorite, I guess you have I think you have to say Brooklyn at this point. Before even the Harden trade, I said on paper before the season started, the Nets had the best squad. The before league. they had Harden, I was like, we can do some, we can do some, we'll do some. All but right. then, <laughs> then they got hard, and I was like, mm, this might not work. Then I saw Harden play there, and I saw Kyrie being like, I don't really care too much. And, like, they all flowing and talking and having fun. And I was like, oh. The one thing I still hold out <laughs> reservations on is the fact that when, with like, when it gets high-pressure situations, like, does all that camaraderie shit, like, go out the window? Like, because you still got three very combustible personalities. They got to be on the yeah. same page when she get tight. That motherfucker shooting fifty percent from the field as a team. <laughs> <laughs> as a team, was but the thing again with Brooklyn. Like I was watching the the Nets Knicks game last night, and again, this is why I have like hope that the Bucks could do something. Is the fact like they're gonna give you chances to beat them because they're not mm-hmm. like. You're gonna have your chances, but you better make those shots because the Knicks mm-hmm. had opportunities. Don't take even like, chance, huh? and they just kept missing. So you, again, that's why I like the Bucks' chances. We're a top offense, even in the half court, which I didn't see that. Right coming, there with them. Oh, yeah, okay. that's what I'm saying. Like we're a top offense, so like we got enough firepower, which sounds weird, but we do to, to make to make it a problem. Like I think we'll talk about trade deadline stuff next week, but like yeah. If we can get PJ Tucker and not have to give up anybody in our rotation, or at least like nobody high up in our rotation, like that gives us a fifth to be on the court, like a pen- like a penciled in fifth person for like that closing lineup, which I think mm-hmm. would like gives us a defender and another person that can knock down three. Like right now, it's Pat Connaughton or Brooke Lopez, and it's like oh, eh, that's shaky. Brooke, Brooke, <laughs> you know what I mean? And Pat Connaughton has actually played well. Like this he's season. played well. We're just, we're just getting too many minutes from him. Exactly. Like I don't like Pat as a rotation piece in the playoffs. I'm comfortable with that. Like way more comfortable than I have in the last two seasons. Pat as like your closing fifth starter. Like. Mm, I'd like to see an upgrade in that spot. And <laughs> PJ Tucker hasn't been good this year, but I'm also assuming like part of that is like he don't care. <laughs> he was trying to get out of his like, <laughs> He's all James Harden day. He's like, fuck it. Like man, this shit dead, man. But I'm here, but I ain't here. <laughs> right. I'm physically here, but I'm checked all wanna, the way out. I don't wanna be here. So we kind of touched on this too already. Anthony Davis uh is still out for the Lakers. They said that he's gonna be sidelined at least another two weeks, another two more weeks because of the tendonitis and the calf strain. I just want to know, Ken, like, do you have any concern levels about <clears throat> KD's recovery at this point? Um, I'm not going to say I have any concern levels because we're at a, we're in a position that at a point that we, like, we don't need and we don't want to rush him back. Mm-hmm. So, like, whatever he needs to do, like, we need him to be completely healthy. Um, of course, like, we miss him, like, tremendously. Um, but I feel like we can, we can stay afloat while he's out. You know, it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt us too much. Um, so yeah, I don't have 
you know, I'm not too concerned with it because I definitely want him to be 100% and not to rush back because, we, you know, we need him for the long haul, so. I agree with you. Y'all, again, kind of like I mentioned with MB, like, y'all ain't playing for right now. Y'all playing for the playoffs, so. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. there's no reason to rush him back from, you know, then get re-injured right before playoffs or anything. We definitely don't need that. Yeah. Houston Rocket guard Eric Gordon, he is going to miss four to six weeks with a strain groin. That takes that's pretty much the end of the season, ain't it? Damn near. Just about. Yeah, the season, yeah, yeah. That's almost. He might come back the last, but at that point, it's probably gonna be no reason for him. Yeah, come back. Yeah, eliminates him from the trade market. Yeah, <laughs> because teams were calling, but mm-hmm. they, they got happen. uh shit. It's 15 games in March, 16 in April, and 9 in May. So, <laughs> shit, he might be out of there, bro. <laughs> he might LeBron, be done. LeBron wearing a LeBron 316 shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> I would, too, if I just got, became a co-owner of the Boston Red Sox. Man. Hey. That's, yeah, that's one of the yeah. That's a flex hey. <laughs> Things for Marvin Bagley the third. He fractured his hand, and he is out indefinitely. That sucks I'm that starting game. to think that the second overall pick is just cursed because shit. Like, Damn. somebody needs to bubble wrap Ja. That's all I got to say. Cause, Forever. I love yeah. Ja. Yeah. He be balling. <laughs> ja and LaMelo are my two favorite non Bucks like, players. Like, I'm, LaMelo I'm, been hooping, dog. We've been trying to we tell been, you. Exactly. Oh, no, I'm not saying We've been saying this before you even <laughs> got drafted. No, 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 before no, no, this no, man no, got no, drafted, we've been saying it, this. I'm not saying that as a, oh, my God, I just realized he's balling. I was saying it as a, man, he really been balling shit. So shut that shit. <laughs> this nigga Y'all always trying to hop on a nigga ass. He, he does talking. this. No, but not, we had the LaMelo conversation, I think, last week, week before that. So, like, that's, you know, he's he's doing what we said. He, like, he does Rookie this. of the year. It's easy, like Charlotte. Like, week in and week out, he has these crazy uh, highlights and shit too. If you got league pass, Charlotte games should be on your must see list, especially because I, I forget their color commentator name, but mm-hmm. that nigga be cracking me up, dude. He, he especially, beat. dude, especially with the wins, he funny as hell. Dude. Did you see when uh, Gordon Hayward dunked on? Uh, I think it was De'Aaron Fox. He was like. Hey, hey, I was like, like <laughs> he be doing the Jr. shit, bro. He be out. Yeah, he do. I swear, <laughs> he be straight like Jr. Bro, he be so geek. Hollering, <laughs> hollering. This, yeah, all I watch is, is Charlotte and Lakers. Camille, uh, dang, bros. <laughs> yeah, <Get out of laughs> somebody, somebody uh, screen grab that. Somebody. She's out of. She got. She got took to the slobber doctor. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you back? Am I back now? Am yeah. I back? All right. Welcome. I was sitting there talking. I was like, everybody froze, and I said, "Crap!" That means that's my energy. Uh, you don't want to <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> I just said that. You said everybody. But no, uh, and I told you what that meant. That was my internet. So we both put CJ right McCall. There. All Shut right. up, damn. CJ McCollum came back today from his fractured uh, mm-hmm. left foot, and I know Dame is happy about that because Dame back got to be sore from all that carrying he be doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They'll yeah. be uh, he, they'll be good, man. Like a lot of people, I feel like still sleeping on him just because McCollum's been gone long and and Dame has been carrying them. They really not realizing the potential that. Portland still has like they still can move up and probably be a top three team in the West by the time like they get their entire squad back. Like he's really been doing it by himself. They don't see the difference when CJ back cooking niggas again. Talking about Melo's though, Carmelo has actually been putting up some numbers too. Yeah, Yeah, been loving it. Sweet to tie them both together. You see Lamelo doing Carmelo's thing now with the three pointer. (laughs) Also saw uh, who's the the uh, from Minnesota, right? Anthony Edwards. Yeah, Edwards. Oh, he does he that too. too. No, he no, he, no, he did it over Mello, yeah. and then was sitting there. Like, he was disrespectful oh. with it. Yeah, it was, he was actually like, quite funny. I was like, yeah. damn. I was like, damn, what? Oh, what? No, he did it twice though. That's what made it ugly. I was like, yo. Yeah, I like no. Anthony, like personality wise, like I Same. like Anthony Edwards. Like saying he's slowly getting better. He started, he been hooping lately. He's one of the people that like context matters because like you know. All that stuff came out before the draft when he was like, I don't really like 
you know, like I like football. Like I ain't really like basketball like that. Like mm-hmm. he's one of the people like you can't like directly quote because it doesn't come across the way that he intends it. Like mm-hmm. he's fun. Like he's fun. He's funny. Like I'm rooting for that kid to do good. Same. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Same. That kid. What does that sound like? Oh, I mean, you see, he, old, to, to us. Old as hell. Right. Uh, he, is <laughs> he is a kid. kid. Like, he is a kid. I'm literally old enough to be his daddy. I don't like that. All right. Uh, yeah. How old is he? Ain't he 19? Actually, I think you're like 20. So, man, we're getting close to that age where it's like. I will say, you, you have to be a busy young man to. Uh, Stroke uh, hey, is. Hey, I, I got. I got. I got. I know some people my age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Carry on. Carry on. Uh, New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees, he announced his decision to retire after 20 mm-hmm. NFL seasons. Upon his retirement, he is the NFL all-time leader in career passing yards, and he ranks second all-time in touchdown passes and completion percentage. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Drew Brees. Sure and, uh, and we had a, a damn good read. You'll see him in Ken. Can't wait for yeah. a speech. No, yeah. I can't. But congratulations, sir. <laughs> Dude, he like, I don't care. I don't he care had to have his uh, sensitivity training and shit. Hey, oh. I'll give him some 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 minor some minor credit for uh, seemingly learning something from that situation. Yeah. Seemingly, yeah. He's still seemingly. Give him the mini. So yeah, give congratulations, me. sir. Some more, some I more mean, action. Like, it was announced yeah, like when he retired that he was going to join NBC, and everybody's like, "That's the wrong nation, uh, <laughs> the wrong network." <laughs> <laughs> Damn! It's always going straight to Fox. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. But hey, you know, he, he had a hell of a career, man. Like Drew Brees was one did. of my yeah, favorite quarterbacks sure. to watch. Like he was probably one of the most accurate quarterbacks of all time. Like the shit that, like even during the uh, Pro Bowl when they had like the Pro Bowl games, the shit mm-hmm. he would just be standing there just throwing shit, bro, and like hitting random shit. Like, bro, how did how did hit like on a dime? Like a lot of Drew Brees's. Like resurgence, and he, the what he did for New Orleans was crazy. Like mm-hmm. he helped mm-hmm. New Orleans a lot. He 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 did a lot, especially after the Hurricane Katrina thing and shit like that. Like he really helped New Orleans out big time, and that's why the city loved Drew Brees for who he was outside of mm-hmm. uh, just football. So again, he had a he had an absolutely fantastic resurgence of his career in New Orleans because he was over with the uh, Chargers for a second, and he had a good career over there. Him and little Damian Thompson was doing things. It was just mm-hmm. different over in New Orleans, but. He had a hell of a career, and he was, he was definitely fun to watch. Shout out to Drew Brees, like, yeah. for for real. Like, yeah, shut up, for sure. That's a solid career. And on top of that, when he made his retirement announcement, he made note to the fact that you were making Tim, like, I'm not retiring from New Orleans. Like, I still got, like, stuff to do here. Like, New Orleans is pretty much home at this point, too. I bet his kids are like, we ain't trying to leave here. Like, <laughs> man, it'd be, it'd be <laughs> nice outside. It's like, the weather is great. The food is good. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to leave here. It's a couple of things that I think about when I think of like his career in totality. Like one, like going back to that thing that I'm old. Like I remember pouring over like that draft that he was in. I was just like, oh man, like where's he gonna go? Like it was Michael Vick was like the clear number one pick, and it was like mm-hmm. Drew Brees was the next quarterback. But they were worried like he's only five ten or whatever he was, and like no short. Actually, I think he's six feet, and they're like no short quarterback can really prosper. And they were like, can he even see over the line and all this other shit? And it's just like. He struggled a little bit in San Diego, and that's why they drafted Phillip Rivers. But then, like, Rivers' rookie year, like, Breeze was like, fuck that. <laughs> and, like, just took <laughs> off. Um, and then he was a free agent. And so, like, yeah. he was trying to decide between uh, Saints and the Dolphins. And, like, Miami is still ruining the day. <laughs> like, because yeah. that's a fork in the road. Because, like, you know, you bring in Drew Breeze, you got your quarterback for the next 10, 15 years. Whereas, you end up with I don't even know who they <laughs> who they've had a quarterback <laughs> over that. I bet if you read through their list of quarterbacks too, you're gonna be like, whoo. I mean Ryan Tannehill had no uh the Dolphins. Miami. Mm-hmm. And outside of like Marino and I think Tannehill. Tannehill is top five for them for sure. Definitely top five for them for sure. Didn't Jay Cutley go there for a minute? Yeah. Yep. I think that's oh, what he's saying. I'm gonna have to look up these damn dolphins. Jesus <laughs> But yeah, so like he coming. basically he answered all the questions that people had about him. Like at every stop, like he had the shoulder thing. Like when he signed with New Orleans, mm-hmm. um, so like every time he got doubted, like he just proved everybody wrong and ended up having a twenty year career, Hall of Famer, all time leading passer in NFL history. Like he's probably a top ten all time 
NFL quarterback. I think saying top 10 is probably pretty safe. I'm sure there's arguments about where in that 10 you might have them, but I think it's fair to, to put them there. I think, uh, but I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They looked That's up. a safe place. <clears throat> you got them Dolphins QBs? I got some. They, they have that shit is better than the damn Bears with Dan yeah, Marino for one. Uh, but they have Bob Greasy because some was trash, but oh, that yeah. was cold. <laughs> Bob moment. Greasy was nice. Um, other, then they had Marino was another big name. They had Jay Fielder. <laughs> I forgot about <laughs> Just Jay Fielder. Fielder. Cole Pepper was there for a minute. I forgot Cole Pepper went there for a minute. Oh, yeah, like, I feel like all the quarterbacks go there like once they their good years are. It's old. Miami. Yeah, like, you want to go to you want to play Trent Green, Chad Pennington, Chad Henning, Pennington. Chad, Chad Pennington. Chad Pennington. I remember Chad Pennington. He was on the Jets for a minute. Yes, yeah, he again, was. like that's where you go. Like, <laughs> you're not going no more. And they had Chad Henney, Ryan Tannehill, Jay Cutler. And then they had uh, Fitz Magic, and now Tua. Two a time. We'll see how long. No, I mean, they, the Dolphins last. haven't been around as long as the Bears. Bears have been around forever. Yeah, yeah I ain't got no A hundred damn years, and y'all still ain't had a. Uh, Who's your Hall of Fame quarterback? No, oh, like Sid Luck. Uh, what's the name? Bradshaw. He played for Pittsburgh. He played for Pittsburgh. Damn, so Terry Bradshaw. Damn, you think of Jim McMahon? <laughs> McMahon, yeah. He wasn't go. He just had a he, good year. He definitely was not go. I ain't got no. You so you ain't got no Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Is what you're saying? No. Nah. Sid Luckman. But that was back in like the 50s. Yeah, so that don't even count. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, hey. Dang. It <laughs> counts. Damn. We had, we had Bar Star back in the day. I'm going to count Bar Star. God dang it. Shit, Miami got two already. <laughs> hey. So, and some interesting news the Rangers decided that. When they open up the MLB season, they gonna open up at a hundred percent capacity. Mm-hmm. Wilding, Texas is the weakest link. Yeah, Texas wilding. I I I don't understand, but they said you get, as, if everybody buy them tickets up, it can be a sold out game. But we ain't restricting nothing. Hundred percent. And oh, then yeah. they said after that they're going to have a slightly reduced capacity with social distancing pods for the remainder of April and May. And I don't understand why you're doing that. If you opened it up for like, what yeah, what? The first so, so opening day is a hundred percent and then they'll reduce it back yep. down. Come on, get fucked up. <laughs> you don't want <laughs> hey, Let wow, us get that capacity at one good time. We need that ticket from gate sales and shit. We want to make sure that our opening day game, you can see a whole bunch of people and shit. Cause you don't want to see them both. Later on, just think though, one. like how terrifying it's going to be to be in an okay. arena full of people for the first time. That's your like choice. during this, That's like that choice. has to be terrifying. Bro. It ain't gonna be terrifying. Dude. Everybody that go there is expecting that. Every single person that goes to that game expecting That's that game to be packed. I, I think couldn't. I think the first time I act, like I'm going to be scared when I go back to like a full stadium for the like it's going to be weird being reacclimated with being around a lot of people. Like it's yeah. breathing on you and shit. Right, like I'm gonna be like, mm, back up. like Randomly blowing on you and shit, and you know me people Coughing be and bumping shit. you and stuff at sport game, like they be running into you, stepping on your shoes, spilling the yeah, beer, yeah. like mm, I don't know about all that, chief. I saw the Brewers. I know that space sounds um, real nice right now. <laughs> the <laughs> Brewers opening up at a twenty five percent capacity, but you can't tailgate, and I was like, well, there ain't no point to go. Damn. I mean, over the day, that's all about tailgate, like. That's what I'm saying. It's the first like, of 62, like, I mean, 162, like, that shit don't matter. Like, come on, man. But also in some COVID crowd news, WWE man. officials are looking to have 45,000 fans mm-hmm. at each night of WrestleMania. Forty five thousand. Ninety thousand people total. Wait, so how many, how many people were money. at the Super Bowl? Like twenty thousand? They said hold on, let me let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me I thought it was like sixteen thousand. They said, but let me just go ahead and double check. No, they got <laughs> really twenty up. motherfuckers there. They said they Bruh. say they say uh NFL Super Bowl. But and this definitely isn't a defense of WWE, but and I, I guess this applies to the Rangers as well. Like, at least these are outdoor places. Like, you definitely don't yeah. want to have, like, an enclosed roof with that many people. 22,000. Um, 22,000. So they're trying to double up the they, Super Bowl. N- not just double it, because they want it twice. 
<laughs> two days in a row. So they want pretty much 90,000 people. And it could be right double because some people would be there for both days. But yeah. over the course of two days, they want to make sure it's 90,000 people that have seen them perform. Show me the money. That's all he's saying. Same stadium as the Super Bowl. Well, I mean, I guess like, you know, like they have a little bit more seating capacity. So 65,000. So it's space people out <laughs> a little bit more than the Super Bowl did. Or at least they have somewhere to put the extra people. Vince been waiting on this shit. Well, Super, Super Bowl was at Raymond James as well, yeah, mm-hmm. and they only had twenty, and they spaced them out pretty well. You gonna double that up and then add a little bit more on top of that too? Going you know, from twenty, you know, just 20 to forty-five on the field. You know what I mean? Like that would be there. Oh yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. forgot about that. You're right. That's true. So yeah, yeah. actually, that will work out. Then that yeah, I told y'all sense. last year, like this ain't miss. Like this, not too. <laughs> that was a one year thing. Like this is not missing a WrestleMania crowd. Nope. Nah. He ain't missing. He damn near didn't miss last year. He was trying his damn. You can't spend the last minute, this Last. They were playing minute. chicken with the city of uh, Tampa at that point, like because <laughs> whoever was whoever canceled it was on the hook financially. Mm-hmm. Tony was looking like that Diddy meme where they were just staring. He was like, <laughs> I, I'm not about to. Mm-hmm. I'm not eating the sale. Right. Until y'all tell me I can't. <laughs> Where you going forward? Um. But yeah. So. We'll see. Well, speaking of hopefully, which, it comes a lot of hitch. Yeah, hopefully. Well, they'll have the Hall of Fame. Uh, so they're streaming it on Peacock, WWE. Speaking, still on WWE. Uh, they're having their Hall of Fame, and they'll be streaming it on the Peacock app on Tuesday, April 6th, which will include the 2020 class as well as the 2021 class. Good for now. They didn't have, the, I don't think they had a live, they didn't have a live ceremony for them last year because of the COVID. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, that, I guess they'll be able to do all the presentations and stuff like that with everybody together this year. All right, quick on since we're in the WWE, like Tim, I know you be watching. Mm-hmm. So is Randy Orton fighting Alexis Bliss? She challenged him to a match. Lord Jesus! Like what? <laughs> what, what? What? Like what the fuck? So it's gonna be a devil match? Like she just gonna be uh, press a leg in the middle of the ring? I <laughs> I have like, no idea. Randy Orton could be spitting it. blood up again. Like, come on, man. Yeah, man. If whatever I, gonna happen, Soldier Boy gonna come for Randy ass, and then Randy go. <laughs> so I told man, he go RKO. Bro, bro the shit. Did he go did like you? Did you see, you. <laughs> did you see your, uh, Soldier Boy stream? <laughs> Talking about Randy was sitting there. He was going ham, bro. He was. Hold on, I'm, let me find this. He was going ham. I, I can't chuckle a little bit. But, it, the shit was uh, ridiculous. I would while you're looking that up, I would imagine that that's just a way to get what's the name to come back. Like they ain't gonna actually the, fight. The fiend, yeah. 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 All right, I that's it. what I was saying. I was yeah. like, he gonna come back, then they go fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and play that soldier boy clip. He has some yeah. smoke. So it looked like he Gordon. playing Grand Theft Auto while he's streaming for a video game service shit. I went to WWE the other day just to see what it looked like. Y'all on there spitting fire and spitting acid out your mouth and doing cut scenes and and that shit look like a soap opera TV show. That shit was fake as hell, nigga. Y'all niggas can't even act. I looked at that shit. Y'all on there spitting. I ain't watched wrestling in like 15 years. And you ain't never did shit, nigga. We're standing in the ring. I can't wrestle with a nigga that wear leather thongs. <laughs> nigga want to yell at me in his underwear. Soldier! Come here! Nigga! Pow! Get your stupid, stupid ass. He gonna get his ass whooped. He walking the gym. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna pull out a punch. I didn't realize say, everybody's six five and up. <laughs> can I just say his living room sound empty as a motherfucker. Like he was putting oh, echoes. Oh, oh, echo. He ain't got no furniture, no soundproof, and no nothing. <laughs> He's just playing video games in front of the TV, bro. He don't give a fuck. Man, no, he gonna walk in that bitch and realize everybody in there two fifty plus. <laughs> Even the women bench pressing. Like it's gonna be a wrap. Like they have legit MMA fighters in there, legit motherfucking gold glove boxers in there. He talking big shit for a nigga that ain't too big. That's why Oscar can't keep her teeth. <laughs> Man. Yeah, yeah, but we'll see what happens. Bow Wow be there soon. Maybe a dragon in there. Wow, Weezy. They gonna tag team. They'll be out here. Hey, if Bob they gonna fight the street profits, bro. They gonna be out here. Oh, they gonna have a rap battle shit. before. I don't want to see that shit. before the match. <laughs> They actually have had them. rap battles on WWE programming before. And yeah. the Usos used to come out. Yes, they did. And it, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ludo was great. 
that was probably the best one they had with a new day and, and the Usos going back and forth. But that's mm-hmm. about it. Anyway, again, with that, why ain't nobody tell me about um, old girl in um, um, NXT? What's her name? Tori or Tony? Oh, Tony Storm. What about? Her? I was like, oh, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> who is this? <laughs> <laughs> we, we've definitely talked about, about, about it. About they oh, yeah, I don't remember. I was like, I was like, he was watching NXT one day. I was like, I was like, I definitely will be to the end. Yeah, because they were talking about the cheeks. Oh yeah, that's why I was like, oh damn, I got the motherfucking NXT, bro. Yeah, I'm definitely to the end. You gave the fan. You know, she can't defend. What's your Twitter? You know, exactly. I show us on all the socials. Like, oh, <laughs> well, no, um, So Molly Holly actually going to be the first uh, inductee for the WWE for the Hall of Fame for 2021 class. Mm-hmm. Um, couple transactions real quick for NBA. Oklahoma City traded Hamadou Diallo to Detroit for, for what is his name? Svi <laughs> Mikhail. Damn, what day? What, hey, that, that, that's... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's Mahalik, right? Mikhail. Oh, he got a name on him, boy. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's he's name right keys on the keyboard. <laughs> it's a man. It's a name right here. He got some boy. names right here. Boy. <laughs> and uh, the trade for him in the 2027 20, second round pick. God damn. That's far. Like, all these what? picks. That's all they, I mean, shit. That's the thing. Oklahoma can't be taking back all these picks in the next couple years. They got they a million gonna, of them. They don't though. have any roster spots at that point. They ain't finna house all these damn rookies, bro. Fuck out of here. <laughs> this ain't too bad. That's, that's all they got. You're, you're right. They reach like... the whole class and shit. That's wild. Well. Make some moves. That's wild. Well. But um, free agent Quinn Cook is uh, well, shit. It might be over by now. Signed a ten day contract <laughs> with uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's what's um, up, man. Two more players are now uh, away from their team as they work on finding new homes. Lamarcus Aldridge and. PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker. Where do you think they would be good fits? Milwaukee. I, w- I would like, like to see. <laughs> no, honestly, y'all could use Lamarcus Aldrich. Yeah, we like, definitely if he's could. Bought, like y'all could. Y'all actually we really could, could use him because Marcus All ain't been exactly uh, just a name at this point. <laughs> which y'all, <laughs> which y'all thought. I mean, uh, Aldrich might not be more than that. He give him more than what Marcus Gasol is giving. Be it. <laughs> have you have you watched any Lakers games, bro? Gasol is not. I no. told y'all the good Look, season, bro. He not <laughs> it, bro. He is <laughs> not. No, I'm, not I'm not discounting that. I'm just saying, like Lamar. It's a reason why Lamarcus Aldridge got benched in San Antonio. When I, like. <laughs> when I tuned in, fam, and saw how bad Gasol and West looked, I was like, bro, hmm. yeah, Gasol be looking like he on skates, bro. Like he just just be rolling around like though what the fuck is he doing? Like two K twenty defense, Sam. Like exactly, you can't, you bro. Can't, you stiff can't, as hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he he do two D defense, bro. Two D <laughs> and like 2D this defense. right. Like this doesn't uh, apply to Aldridge because he ain't playing the bubble. But I wonder if we like underestimated like the old guys, like how quick that turnaround was for him. Because like mm-hmm. to your point, like Wes. Mark Gasol, PJ Tucker, like they're all like so. thirty four plus. Mm-hmm. And it's like you know you gave them a month and a half off. Yeah, like they maybe they're, maybe they're coasting today. also. Like I'm just waiting for the and then they turn it on the playoffs, but I don't know. We'll see. I need West to turn it on though. Shit. <laughs> He was, like shoot, too, he was doing all that shooting in Milwaukee and shit. Like nigga, <laughs> shoot yeah. here. He 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 shots know. in Milwaukee. Like he ain't <laughs> no shots in LA. <laughs> Man, when, but, he, when he get him, he don't hit him. That's why I mean, he don't got it, him. It ain't, it ain't like he had like the offense running through him here either. But when he got the ball, he was putting him up. Man, no, he be breaking. Well, yeah, he is, bro. <laughs> he be breaking over here. Hey, kind of I, see, I see maybe one arrow this season. But <laughs> <laughs> one arrow, bro. I watched him last night. I'm like, bro, he just be out there doing nothing, bro. Just Yeah, he was just out there running. Shout out but to Kuzma I'm, again, man. Kuzma been balling. Shout out to Kuzma, man. Because we almost see, gave uh, up on Kuzma, too. He was wild. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he damn near gave up, up on him. He been balling. I want to see LaMarcus go back to Portland. Mm. I just want to see. I want I want the story. I think. I mean, was, I, and they can. And I didn't like the way that he left because it felt to me kind of like he was seeing Dame coming up. And he was like, pick me. <laughs> me or him. And they was like, well, I mean, yeah. Dame, Dame pretty cold. <laughs> Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. It was like uh, Fresh Prince when he's like, "Oh my man, you making this too easy." <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 like, but yeah, I think at like, the time he was still on his rookie deal too, wasn't he? I don't know. Like, I think it was that long ago. It's been what five, about five, five years now. 
Well, I mean, I think he signed a four-year deal with San Antonio, so this would be a fourth year. Fourth year? Yeah, so... Grass ain't always greener, Mr. Aldridge. It ain't. It really ain't. Don Maker saw the same thing. Damn. I'm gonna play. <laughs> I'm, I'm all happy. I ain't got no no tick. Nigga, you could have been a, you could have been a great bench piece, fam. Mm-hmm. Now look at you. I don't even know where you at right now, fam. Is he in Cleveland? Yeah. Where's, you know, where's he? Got, he got uh, released when they made the trade for uh, Jared Allen. Mm. Dang. <laughs> He on TikTok. That's what he on. Damn. <laughs> Let's move on. We only got 20 minutes left. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, uh, yeah, any thoughts on my, uh, P.J. Tucker? Or, like I said, more. I mean, on, bro. I don't. Just don't go to, uh, just don't go to New J- Don't go to Brooklyn. Goddamn. Don't go to Brooklyn. Damn. Don't go to like, Brooklyn. Damn. <laughs> Please. Damn, they got enough over there. Don't or Miami, because like he he would fit perfect in Miami, and I just he would fit in Miami. That. He would fit really well in Miami. He if, he, in, if they uh, can find a way to get like Trey, like if we could trade like DJ Wilson or something to get PJ Tucker, I'm all for it. I could see him over Phoenix too. Like definitely, like I saw somebody say, like, should they give up Dante? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, 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 no. He can't make a like, layup, I, but he is I'm, useful. I was gonna say I'm he fine with trading Dante, but for 35 year old PJ Tucker who got three Ooh. months left on a contract, uh, that ain't that ain't the the chip you cash in for. No, nah, I think they need to keep they need to rock with uh, Dante rest of this rest of this season. Man, I don't think I, if they can upgrade from Dante, like then sure, you know. We can't trade no first. Like we we I just don't see many moves. Like honestly, I don't see many moves the Bucks can make <laughs> yeah. outside of like fr- like fringe things, like mm-hmm. de- trading DJ Wilson for PJ Tucker. I'm mm-hmm. not sure how that money worked, but yeah, we can figure it out. A first, so it, like that's all we got is Dante, <laughs> and you ain't upgrading from Dante just straight up. And so yeah, but Myers Leonard, yeah, uh, he was fined five fifty thousand dollars and suspended for one week. Uh, although it doesn't really count because he's injured, so he doesn't lose any money from it uh, for his anti-Semitic slur on like, Twitch. Um, he's make him get suspended when he comes back from the injury? Like, bro, he can't just skate. Yeah, like for this. the season. Damn. Uh, but slap on the wrist. Um, Big slap but, on the wrist. Actually, little slap on the wrist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the NCAA's uh, All-American team, men's All-American teams were named on Tuesday. First team is Gonzaga's Corey Kispert, Baylor's Jared Butler, Iowa's Luca Garza, Illinois's Illinois's. Illinois. How do you pl- pluralize Illinois? Whatever. It's University of Illinois, Illinois uh, guard, <laughs> A-O. A-O. <laughs> I'm not even going to try his last name. Um, and Oklahoma State's Kay Cunningham. Second team was Gonzaga's Jalen Suggs. Gonzaga's Drew Timmy. Uh, Illinois' Kofi Cockburn. Kofi Cockburn, uh, which is a wild name. Uh, Michigan's yeah. uh, Hunter yeah. Dickinson, also a wild name. Um, <laughs> and UCLA's Evan Mobley. Uh, third team was Baylor's Davion Mitchell. Houston's Quentin, Gar- Quentin Grimes. Alabama's Herb Jones. Boyola's Cameron Krutwig and Oregon's Chris Duarte. Congratulations, fellas. Congrats. Um, Congrats. XFL and CFL are discussing a collaboration after their seasons were both canceled due to COVID-19. Uh, CFL Commissioner Randy Ambrosi uh, said in a joint statement that we are looking forward to seeing what possibilities our discussions may uncover and to sharing those with our fans as the process unfolds. Uh, neither side referenced the possibility of a merger, but um, each confirmed interest in combining their efforts moving forward. Uh, XFL President and CEO Jeffrey Pollock said, we are honored and excited to be in discussions with the CFL. It is clear through our early conversations that we share a passion for football, an expansive sense of possibility, and a deep desire to create more opportunities for players and fans across North America and around the world. Um, if you remember, Dwayne Johnson, Danny Garcia, and Redbird Capital Partners purchased the XFL from Vince McMahon after the league declared bankruptcy in 2020. You talking about a successful divorce? Yeah. <laughs> also, hey, we can't be together, but we can get this money together for life. Man, they have built an empire. Oh. Um, and also, full circle moment for The Rock. Like his whole wrestling career started because he got cut from the CFL. So now he's mm-hmm. coming back. Like fuck, kid, I'm gonna well, <laughs> take this you. bitch over. Yeah. Mm. This shit. 
big bags. Um, and LeBron it's James, a long term. Yeah, longtime business partner Maverick Carter are becoming part owners of the Boston Red Sox. Um, LeBron and Maverick became partners in Fenway Sports Group, which owns the Red Sox, Liverpool FC of the Premier League, Roush Fenway Racing, uh, NESN, which is the regional sports network in New England, and Fenway Sports Management alongside FCG. Yes. I mean, FSG Real Estate. They finna get so much money, bro. Yeah, like uh, so much money. He's he's supposed to just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Man, man's is a mogul. Dog, yeah. so much money. You get it from track. You get it from a TV network. Shit. Mm-hmm. Liverpool soccer rope and I love to see it. Clubs in fucking England and damn, damn. Love to see it. Woo. But that's again correct. I understand why he's wearing LeBron three sixteen today. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron yeah. 316 says, I just made a Billy. Nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First black sports, uh, first black owners in that group. Like, that's. Mm. Hey, kudos, bro. Like, wow. His legacy is wild. 2021, we still getting black first, first women black, first. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Still. And they just like, I don't know why you. Why am I still the first? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. I got a quick blow to whistle. Before we get into the top five, I forgot so, about that. <clears throat> let's get into the blow the whistle because this is gonna be quick. I promise mm-hmm. you, it's gonna be quick. All right, now that's enough out of you. You know what? Tease his ass up. Blow the whistle this week, Matt Rowan. There might be not be a name that you might be from there, where you might be like, wait, <clears throat> who? Who? Who's Little reminder: that is the announcer who went viral. Uh, high school announcer who went viral for calling. Uh, some some women players, some young ladies who are playing, effing in words. I'm doing I'm <laughs> both of those things out there for you uh, because they were kneeling. Mm-hmm. And he put out a statement afterwards, of course, after pressure. such remarks, you know, come out, in which he said that he regrettably made some statements that cannot be taken back. And during that Norman High School girls basketball game against Midwest City, he said, I made inappropriate and racist comments, believing that the microphone was off. Pause. So <laughs> the racist comments are, yeah, are cool yeah, if the bro. mic is off. OK, I got you. I got Fuck you. Fuck you, bro. He then said, however, let me state immediately. That is no excuse. Such comments should not have ever been uttered. That I can agree with. There is no excuse there. You should not utter those words. He then went, he then went on to talk about how he's a family man. He's married. You At one time, he was a youth fuck. pastor. Jason. And and he threw out the fact that he's a member of a Baptist church. He threw the Baptist church, okay? Eat a dick. His devil's in the church, too. Eat a dick. And he mentioned how he embarrassed not only himself, but his family and his friends. And then he went on to say that he suffered from type 1 diabetes. Yeah. And during this the game, nigga, his sugar was spiking. Fuck out Diabetes nigga. made me do it. The sugar. First of all, nigga, I have diabetes, nigga. <laughs> it ain't never altered me to say some shit that I ain't had. Nigga, sugar cake control will come out my mouth. Fuck it. Bro. Wait, fam, you just said nigga like five times. Like, <laughs> he can't say nigga though. I can't say nigga. No, I'm just saying. Like, you, and he, the white dude could just come in and be like, well, the BDs made me say nigga like he made kids to say nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the difference. No, is, fuck that. Fuck it, don't be out here blown ass man. Hold some accountability and shit like that. You let that shit fly because that's the shit you do on a regular fucking basis. That's how you feel on a regular fucking basis. Mm -hmm. No, you can't say that shit in public. No, you shouldn't be saying that shit behind closed doors. But guess what? You said that shit so much behind closed doors, it slipped in public. Mm -hmm. He must be because the shit was spiking. He was kicking it with the Papa John's dude. So you trying to tell me you need a lot of fuck and not say nigga? What the fuck? Yeah, they all kick it together. So a couple things were crazy to me about the situation. One. How are you comfortable saying that at work? So, like, he went on in his statement to talk about how his colleague didn't say nothing or, like, that wasn't nothing to do with him. But you felt comfortable enough thinking the mic was off to say that to him. So, clearly, that's how y'all talk to each other at, at some, you know what I mean? Like, at some yeah. comfort level there. You didn't feel no type too, of way about it. He fuck him, too. Pretty much. And then he also went on to say how now the comments might make me seem like I'm racist, but I'm not. And I never considered myself That's what racists racist. say, motherfucker. <laughs> That's exactly what racist. Like, racist shit, but I'm not racist. It's just you split. only. I got a friend that's black. 
Why is it you only want to be not racist because you got caught saying some racist stuff. Exactly. Like I, I have no. This is one of the worst excuses I've ever seen. Maybe one of the most creative. I've never seen somebody say that my diabetes made me call somebody uh, <laughs> lying. a nigger. But just lying. Just well, and then it's still based on the fact that they were kneeling during the national anthem, which is some shit you should have been over a while ago. And then that man was talking about some. I need to accept responsibility, but you made an excuse. Don't <laughs> don't do that. Like, you gave an don't, excuse. Said it's not an excuse. <laughs> I don't know how he still has a job, but uh, I know how he still has a job. Shit. Who, who, they exactly. fired the production company who accidentally had the mics hot. Wow. I just, know why he still has a job. Are they in the South? <laughs> they in the South, right? Uh, I don't know where. No, because he kept saying it was like a Midwest city. He like this, this, this beautiful mid, this Midwest town, and well, blah, 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 blah. racism is everywhere. So, so as, uh, you know why? You know why he still got a job. Go to what's Also, agree with his, uh, <laughs> his <laughs> statement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blow like, oh, yeah, sir. You know, it just looks bad. It, it'll blow over. We don't, yeah, we don't yeah, blame yeah. that. that that's, about that's some trash, man. That's some trash. So blow the whistle on you for being racist. Just, like, just I don't have any patience for that. So, take top five. Let's finish up. Five, four, three, two, one. Tech top five. Last week's tech top five was best sport nicknames. I barely edged out a victory, but it was a victory nonetheless. <laughs> exactly. This. Hey, it's barely, but it was barely. there. This week's Tech Top 5 is the best MCU villains. Now, to, to clarify before we get into our list, MCU, mm-hmm. Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm-hmm. The universe Marvel starts comic with... Units. Yeah, I thought it was Marvel <laughs> Comic Universe, bro. I was like, why? Some of this shit is coming from the comics, but some of it ain't. Yeah, no, it's only the movies. So, the only the MCU shit. starts off with Iron Man in 2008. Just keep that in mind as well. Y'all know what movies count under canon. Don't be trying mm-hmm. to not not the three of y'all, but like listeners who like, no X Men. Like no, they don't no. count. That's not that's Fox. not in here. That is Fox. <laughs> like come on. All right, Tim. Who are your top five MCU villains? And then how did you uh, clarify best for your list? Well, mine is, is uh, uh, based on their like uh, their. Their tenacity and their deviousness. And Fuck you too. How, Just get to it. How, how is it hard to kill this motherfucker? Like, you, how many niggas did he kill on the way here? Like, just tenacity, evil, grinding motherfuckers. <laughs> so number five, I got Ronan the Conqueror from Galaxy uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That purple I mean, motherfucker killer. was, yo, yeah, him that that motherfucker. He was ruthless. Anyways, they took the uh, which stone was the power stone? I believe the purple one. Whichever the purple one is, that's what, that's the one he had. And they took him. Um, number four, I got the scrolls. I don't know if any of y'all watch Captain Marvel, but them mm, devious motherfuckers is going to be. Wait, the scrolls were the good guys. Yeah. So yes. in the movie, they were the good guys. They were the good guys. The bad guys were the um the. They're going to be the bad. Never mind. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but, but I you're mean, right. no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Currently, they are the good guys. So I'll go back to who I had before, which was. Loki. Damn, I don't want Loki. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'll put Loki in number four. Actually, flip flop. Loki B5. I want Loki, though. <laughs> All right, three. Anyways, three Ultron. That was a devious motherfucker. Like, Ultron, yeah. he was. If you don't remember how Ultron was, or uh, or if you had to catch up on WandaVision and shit like that, and you had to go back, just go watch Age of Ultron. Like, that motherfucker. Here. Thank God they got rid of him. And then I got Hella at number two from uh, Thor's sister. Oh my God. Yeah, she, she Thank was a God beast. they took her out. <laughs> she she left that motherfucking planet. It would have been a rat for a lot of niggas. And number one, of course, is Thanos. Cool. I'm going to find something different for Loki, bro. Um, I went a different direction with my best. Um, like, I actually went for like the most compelling characters. Um, also, kind of factored in, factored in like how dangerous they were. Like, how serious of a threat they were to the heroes. Um, so five, uh, I was going to go Vulture, but I think I'll go Hella. Um, okay. Four, controversial, Tony Stark. He's a villain mm. in civil in Civil War. Although I will say it's also he kind won. of fucked up. Like when I you mean, think about the full story. It depends on what side. Yeah. I mean, the, the yeah. villain in Civil War was Baron Zemo. Like, he, okay, the antagonist. 
he was an antagonist in Civil War. Was he? Uh, like we 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 took scrolls off for for Tim. I'm not sure if you got this one fly. If, they, if they're fighting, like it, I put, I put it like this, Tim, we to take scrolls off of your list. Does Tony start counting on, on Eric's? I mean, it depends on what side you took. If you took Tony, and side, I'm on, I'm on Cap villain. side. Yeah, so, he's yeah. on Cap side. So, so we, we could, and it's we, Captain America's we, movie. So, <laughs> Cap was the villain. Yeah, I'll run that down on his ass because that motherfucker knew that his parents died. His best friend killed his parents. Wait, and then they joked about being friend. mad. And I, don't think, his ass. I don't think he actually knew. Like, I think he was trying to come. He did know. He, 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 he said it. He said it. He said he knew. And that's why I was always been fucking When would he have known? When, 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 he he know? when would he have found that out? He, when Tony no. asked him, did you know? No, no, he said I yes. know he said that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I know he said that. I'm saying, like, I think he lied to Tony to kind of cover for Bucky because that's what he did. Captain America and Trump support. He didn't lie. <laughs> That's America, it's it's like, government. like that was part of his thing. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move I, on. I'm saying Tony Stark a villain. Let's move on. He was Number on three. Side of the, three is Loki. Two, Killmonger. One, Thanos. All right. <laughs> Five. I got Baron Zemo because he was one of the few villains who actually succeeded in doing what he wanted to do, mm. and that was break up the Avengers. And he had Tony, as we just mentioned. Tony getting jumped for being mad about his parents' death when he was completely in the right to be upset. Like, them niggas was wrong for jump. Like, anyways, we'll talk about that offline. Got it. I got my number five. Four, Go ahead. Four, <laughs> four, I got Ultron. Three, I got Loki. Two, I have Killmonger. And one, I have Thanos. And I just did best by, like, most compelling, uh, interesting. <clears throat> Looking forward to seeing how Baron Zemo is used in uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier as well. I feel like He's going to be on more people's list after that series finishes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've been um, number five. Oh, um, yeah, go ahead. With uh, Dormammu from Doctor Strange. Because in essence, He's, even though it was the, the, the blonde dude, he was the one controlling him. And that's the no, you, you're right. Uh, he's, I don't like kind of movie pl- did him, but. Like, yeah, he's one of the he's strongest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for real, for real. Yeah, for real. All right, so um, my five quick. Um, I guess did like their impact. Um, my personal favorite, and like you know how powerful they are, their impact on the movies and stuff like that. Number five, Red Skull. Um, number four, Loki. Um, number three, Ultron. Um, number two, Killmonger, and number one, Thanos. Sure. I just want to give an honorable mention shout out to to Vulture and to Ego. Those are two villains that I really did like because the actors who were playing them just. They were off the chain, mm-hmm. so they didn't make the list. But they were they were close to it. They were close. And yeah, that's the that's the show this week. We hope y'all enjoy. Make sure when y'all see that post come about about who you know the top five. Y'all make y'all votes. Y'all get them in the there. Hashtag Pick a winner. Cap's right. Cap is a almost cussed. I I do not. I it took me a while to like Captain America, and that movie did not help. I did. I, over here. I didn't like Cap until like in game. <laughs> like it took. It took a while. But anywho. Hashtag Cap was right. <laughs> Hashtag F Cap. Hey, I'm here for that. <laughs> well, that's the show for the week. We hope y'all enjoyed. Share the show, like, subscribe, rate, Ooh. review, all that good stuff. It helps us out so much. That being said, if you want to follow me on social media, you can catch me. Wait a minute. On Twitter and Instagram, I unprivated my Instagram so y'all can follow me on there again. So you better hurry up before I change my mind again. At Camille Monet, C A M I L L E M O N A E, because your mom is fancy. Amen, amen. Can't bust my answer. That's all you get. Goddamn right. <laughs> um, everyday underscore gentleman on Instagram, K Harris two sixteen on Twitter and Snapchat. And it's your boy. T I M K I N Z V number three, aka Ass Catch Me, aka Mister Get It To Me. Ciao. Ciao, y'all. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hey. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.